yeah, technical issues. We are back. I think everything is working. Mm -hmm. um, I tried yeah, yeah. to transition scenes to just our roleplay screen. Um, I don't know where it cut off, so we're going to go just cut back to the start of the scene. I don't know what the last thing said, so he just briefly informed the party that there is a safe under the piano, and the key to that is in a bag of grain in the kitchen. And Rainier mm -hmm. was about to pose a very good question to the senator. Yes. So Rainier asks, how, how do ghosts work? Do ghosts like dissipate after a period of time? Are they yoinked by the Zygolia? Um, are they yoinked by the Zygolia? Are you asking me or are you asking him? I'm asking Merkestil and him like while we're all in the room. Because Merk did give her word, but what if he like poofs out? Bye bye, Casper. Like, we don't know. Or Arcana check then, Merkestil? Uh, yeah, guidance. I'm going to do religion because I'm not an Arcana domain cleric at the moment. Um, religion. Uh, cool. So that's a natural 20. 26 nice. total. You know everything so, about ghosts. You have a you you know a lot. Like there are certain ways that it works, and specifically what you're thinking, that ring, this spirit will not come to peace without that ring, so it will not go anywhere. Yeah. yeah. Uh, as I understand it, his spirit will remain here until the ring is returned. I've dealt with similar spirits, and returned what they had lost or otherwise helped them find peace. Okay. And Merc will, like, meet his eyes as she's saying this. Is there anybody here on in the city that we should inform about what's happened to you? Oh, like your assistant, right? You could perhaps just inf inform the lawmaster they know all the, reg the, the appropriate people to contact. Okay. We can do that for you. Any other friends who kill you or try to? Should we tell them not to come by? Tell them I wish for peace in my home. Mm -hmm. Would you, you like to... us to have those bodies taken away? No. They provide useful for when I need to summon things to defend myself. Nice. Well, I guess that covers the question. Do you want us to <laughs> you bury see? your body? That would be nice. No, no. Right. Do not bury me without the ring. Okay. I do not know if that would pull me to the other side. You see, you see, uh, as he mentions, like, leave the body so he can summon more things. You see Merc's eye just twitch, just like... Uh. Yeah, a little hypo <laughs> hypocritical, but okay. Right. That much we can do. Oh, another question, if you don't mind. You said you were good friends. Um, what did your friend Ar 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 Arthur? 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 We were Des. You don't know the planning chat, but we were like playing a guessing game of spelling that name. None of us got it right. So. <laughs> Um, so, A R T H U S. Okay. You. Fuck. It's always the fucking vowels. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Yeah. Anyway. The A's. <laughs> anyway, uh, what was he doing before this? Did, did you tell about his plans, like favorite villa he chills at? Like. No, he. He was fond of the library. He was a, well-studied man. He knew many magics. Right. He had places he enjoyed, but he was not a overly joyous fellow. He was downtrodden a lot of the time. Felt the world owed him something more than he was given. Um, Thank you for informing us about everything and about the safe. Mm. And we'll do our best to get mm. your ring back to you as soon as possible. She stops playing and kind of like puts the case over the keys and like gets up so that they can move the piano. How 
is he gonna yeah. play? He can't open the the thing. If he's he a can, ghost. Yes, he can. I'm sorry. If he can push the keys, he can open the case. I know, but the visual <laughs> of him like eh, eh, trying kind of to funny. open it is funny. Uh, I'm gonna go and get that's the why key the ghost out of the can't kitchen. Go yeah, you can find it with knowing where it is. It's no check required. Finding it, you all group efforts move the piano very carefully, not to yeah. damage anything, and pulling up the the rug that's on the floor. There is a very clear uh, floorboard that is different to the rest. Opening it up, there is very much so like a lead cased box in the ground where there is a safe. Mm-hmm. Is this uh, trapped in any way? No, it is not trapped. Thank you. Um, What's in the box? What's in the box? What's in the box, man? (laughs) So you open up the box. It is very neatly stacked. Everything is kind of like divided into like sections where things are. You find a stack of 100 platinum pieces. Ooh. Monies. Ooh. A smaller stack of about 200 gold pieces. There is a very long, long skinny box. There is two flasks in it. They are two superior healing potions. Nice. And you see a another like shorter and fatter box that once opened. You open that up. There is, uh, like, what would be fancy, but not like so much so a sig like sentimental value it appears to be a collection of very fine rings there's one that has a sapphire in it that is worth at least 400 gold there's one that has a diamond in it worth at least 600 gold and there's one that has an emerald in it worth 500 gold how much 400 600 500 okay what's in the skinny box potions you crack open the very long uh like yeah. box. It is a small little extra dimensional space. Liaman's tiny chest. No. Ooh. No, it's Loxodon skinny box. It's a magical item. <laughs> okay. Do you reach in? Yeah. So, pulling out, there is what appears to be a very, very nice set of leather armor. You're not sure what it is. You reach in as well. There is a very, uh, you pull out its jewel encrusted hilt, a short sword that is uh, on one side blunt and the other side is uh, very nice, like curved blade. Actually, I suppose scimitar would be closer to what it is. Yeah. Jewel encrusted, and there is runes etched up the the. If you like, hold it like to, flat side to your face. On the left side of the blade, there's runes up the side of it. Ooh. Fancy, fancy. Okay. That's. Do we cool. have identified? Uh, I do, however, I lost the pearl because I was disintegrated, so I lost... Now we have the points. money to buy it! It's okay, we it's okay. we're by the ocean. We, we are literally by we're, the ocean. We're just gonna go we're find one. Spending an, a week trying to find a pearl that is I, worth I'm a saying, I know, I'm I know saying, what you're saying. I yeah, know. It's gonna be hard to find fun. it, come on. Yeah, guys. we know, we know. I just thought it was kind of funny. Know, we're <laughs> There's a little, little, little also, by coming. the way, we can just ask the dude. He has these things, he knows. Yeah, you should sure. literally ask. Laugh. It's... Yeah. Um. Right, so let me skip this down. So that, those are um, all of the things that make up the. That is what's in. I think. Um. The box itself, the small skinny box, it is literally only about a, I'd say, twelve inches long by like four inches deep, so it doesn't fit much. But you can fit yeah. about within the extra dimensional space if you can fit things in it about a hundred pounds worth of stuff okay that's that's very useful but it's also um, very good yeah. because you can literally just like put it in a pocket it's you know mm. um these uh, the armor and the weapon um enchanted correct the armor is uh, something i haven't worn in a long time but it serves the purpose of when wearing to affairs where you're not so sure of your safety, it can appear to be anything, but it is a slightly stronger than usual armor that can look like anything. 
So that it is so a... For mechanics, it is a plus one leather armor that is basically like a glamour weave that can look like any armor or outfit of your choice. But it's also a plus one. That's fucking cool. What kind of leather armor is it? Just leather. Just some... Okay. So it's not studded, yes. it's... Mm-hmm. I mean, so I don't have the same AC as studded as well, but it's yeah. just able to... Can you yeah. wear armor? Yeah, yeah I can wear light armor. Yeah. Leather yeah. isn't... Leather armor medium? That depends mm-hmm. on uh, which one. Leather armor's light. Yes, uh, Oh, okay. there's light. Well, there is light. Yeah. There's like a bunch of different permutations. Yeah. Okay. Um. And the sword. That was fond memories when I was a lad. So it's very good. It is a scimitar of speed. So it's a plus two to attack and damage with this weapon. And you can make one attack as a bonus action with it on your turns as well. That's neat. That's fucking great. That's neat. I mean, I do that with my claws, but someone else definitely can use it. Maybe uh, the money? Oh, for, for close no. quarters, yeah. Mm-hmm. Wait, do, do you... I feel like if you give it to me, though, it's going to be go to waste most of the time where someone like Anna would be able to use it and be like a lot better does not have a magic item and i'm currently wielding a massive two-hand glaive like i'm good <laughs> yeah. um i think you I should use wanna... it as a backup is it money yeah. just in case oh, quite a backup because i don't think sure? yeah, i don't because... think i can use it <laughs> i think if yeah. if we don't find it useful we might as well we have to render it later uh and yeah. maybe <laughs> like Please don't say that. I said it very quietly. I don't know if I'm gonna do it. Uh, but don't. for now, if you start a fight with someone in close waters, like the last fight with Screw, that would be good. Okay. Mm-hmm. Mm. So it's Useful. a plus two to attack and an extra attack as a bonus action. Plus two to attack and yeah. damage. Okay. Yeah, it's pretty really good. fucking good. Yeah, and an, good. Yeah. And an extra attack as a bonus action as well. Right. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Okay. Yep. 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 Okay. Cool. Look, we have it in the chat now. Nice. Yep, that's awesome. Um, was it plus two armor or plus one armor? Plus, plus one, one leather armor. So it's basically the same as studded plus leather, one. but it yeah. can also appear yeah. as anything. Which is great like, for Cal. Naked, please put that <laughs> yeah. on me. Yeah, I don't have fucking <laughs> yeah. armor. Um, uh, yes, can you tell us if the, if the magic box is lockable? Like, can you like put a password on it or something? It does not have a password, but I think if you check the... In my wardrobe, the large peat coat that should have a key in the pocket. Oh, that's pretty good. Thank you. So it can um, be locked. Mm-hmm. Thank you. Looking at the rings, they just appear to just be... They are just rings? Uh, roll me an arcana of... check. Yes, cool, cool rings. Guidance. Um... I don't think that's much. That's like a... Oh, no. With the guidance, that makes it a 17 total. So, you look... There is small runes on two of the rings. So, the one with with, um, the sapphire and the one with the emerald. Uh, These runes... They... Arcane? Do they mean something? They... They do. The one with the sapphire on it is a ring of evasion. So I'll give that to you guys in a second. That that, sounds cool. That is... I think that would be awesome for anyone with shit decks. Yeah, if you Mm. fail dex 37, you can use your reaction to succeed. Yeah, who has shit decks? Castile. Hi, zero here. Okay. <laughs> Man, Hi. it sure is cool for everyone to get like two magic items at, at this point. Meanwhile, I'm being a big fan zero. Hey, your broom <laughs> um, might still be on the way. I'm hoping, yeah. but it's like 30 yeah. sessions and you most of you have like two now. Fuck you. <laughs> I just want to I just want to point out we did walk past a broom in the other room. Just saying. Just a normal fucking room. Yeah, just broom. Just... Look, you want a broom? There's a fucking Our broom. belief. <laughs> um, and the emerald says? There's a ring of jumping. Oh, oh actually, hold actually. on a minute. <laughs> what 
does it do? Yeah, shut the fuck up. Does it um, stack? So, does it stack? No, so it, while wearing this ring, you can cast the jump spell from it as a bonus action at will. And on yourself. Ah, uh, let's Google what jump does. I'm pretty sure um, that's that's a really... That's funny. So, yeah. <laughs> sapphire is a ring of evasion. The emerald is a ring of jumping. What was diamond? Not a Nothing. Just okay. diamond. Okay. Fringe. Formula. Yeah. Uh, your jump distance is tripled. Oh, yo, okay. <laughs> That's pretty funny. So you just become Mario a fucking flea. Yeah. Just... <laughs> <laughs> Chris Pratt Rainier over here. No, Please. shut your mouth. Shut no. your dead <laughs> mouth. Mario Not King. Chris Pratt. <laughs> Wait, but like, have you seen like the French voice actor is much better? <laughs> yeah, do we know uh, his uh, name though, fake fan Jennifer? Anyway. Why did you have to say my full name like that? <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. Getting caught in front of the class. I'm sorry. Um, thank oh, you on my table gifts. by Monday. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> thank you for these Guys, gifts. Like, I need two minutes, please. <laughs> two? You give me too little credit, my dear. It's it's Just it's fast it's much more. Anyhow, um, thank you very much. As Cal was. Same. Yes. And more gracious, gracious of you. I have no use for them. They were curios I collected in life. Yeah. No use to me now. Like, they mean little to me. Have you used this jumping ring before? Got it on a whim. It was a bit of an impulse purchase. How how was it? A I jumping elephant senator? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I felt quite silly. Rady just like slaps her thigh, like does a dad laugh. Of course she does. Felt, felt quite silly. But, uh, I was young. I was a mere one hundred years old. Forgive me. And there's nothing to uh, forgive. Fucking baby, then what the fuck? We're all allowed <laughs> to do silly things when when we need to. When we are hundred years old, yeah. Mm. The first century. Of my I'm life was gonna be lucky if I live to a hundred. <laughs> right <here>. Shame. <laughs> uh, well, I think that is all that um, we have at the moment. So uh, we'll be on our way. Sorry to disturb you and. Thanks again. Um, Conversation has been nice. You're welcome in my home. Whenever you wish. Thank you. When, when Thank we you. come back to return your ring, if you'd like to play together again, I'd be happy to. I would enjoy that. We'll pass on your message to the law master as well. I appreciate it. I would recommend it if you are within Osha Cure. There is a very nice store where I bought those items from. Yo. They only carry small collections of curios, but perhaps they would uh, perhaps they would have something in it. It is the Radiant Hourglass. Radiant Hourglass. That sounds like a really good book title, honestly. Isn't <laughs> no, yes, no. Are we in Ojakir? No, we are. Yes, we are. He said it like we weren't here. He's like, if you happen, you know, if you happen, you happen. at least, oh, at least it's okay. not Brighton. It's so, it's, it's yeah, always yeah. better. You know, I do my You best. should, <laughs> if you do find yourself in there, ask for Ogera Solar Dream. Well, cool. let's uh, let's get out of here and just uh, yeah. the out. guards, the guards that were watching us when we uh, kicked down the door, um, still there eating popcorn. Yeah, yeah. What are they? What are they doing? <laughs> so you go outside. The guards have moved on. The security right. in this city is atrocious. You're telling me. I mean, perhaps the house, not the security. Most people just walk by without 
paying my home much mind as I want it. Like Ooh. a Grimo place. That's pretty yeah, cool. Yeah, that's cool. That's cool. Not copyrighted like at all. I really fucking like this house. <laughs> yeah, Airbnb time, anyone? Yeah. Mm. He did say we're welcome. Yes. At least wait until his soul moves on before you start talking yeah. about taking uh, it. And it then adds we can move to the, the corpses out. Um, right, but we should make way to the lawmaster. Shouldn't waste yep. time there. So, like, about what it's time true. is it now? It's about two minutes past sundown, Anna. Panic begins to set in. Cool. Uh, I still have Dimension Door. Peace. <laughs> grounded. She has to be home by Sunday. All right, grounded. I'm like, Just what? Bye, Anna. Dimension Anna, Door to you your go. room, so she's... Uh... <laughs> she's already there, like, reading a little yeah. teenager magazine, yeah. Yep, mm-hmm. in her bed. Rom's like, Hi, where have you... Oh, hello. Anna, you quickly make your way to your house. Can you give me a stealth check to see if you can sneak back in? I am the stealthiest. What do you even mean? It's actually not bad. I said it was a joke. Uh, 21. <laughs> 21. You make your way and there is a minute where you hear... Do you kind of... You open your window, you climb in through. You've snuck out a few times in your youth. And you just hear your... Your your mother walking in the house and you're like... Oh, she will have a raw hide when she comes home. At this stage. And there's like walking around the house, you know, just... Mother talking to herself, very, very annoyed. And a couple of months later, the door kind of slams open. When did you get home? It was just before sundown. Did you not see me? I walked through the front door. (laughs) Come on, Charisma! Come on, Eelbrigger. That's pretty fucking good. Uh, 20, a dirty 20. Filthy 20. Of course I did. Take me for a fool. She has a hot water bottle in hand and she's like pulling it under your blankets. She's like very angry. <laughs> Just like I said you should. Yeah, no fun. Just like you said I should. I had basically zero fun. We uh, walked around. My feet hurt now, if I'm being honest. As they should. <laughs> what do you want for your supper? Soup, please. Good soup. All right. Orange she she stops soup. at the door. She turns back. <laughs> Did she walk? <laughs> love you, mom. <laughs> oh, I love you. <laughs> Mission accomplished. <laughs> You're a boss. Gatekeep. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Everything in one conversation. Amazing. <laughs> All right, let's um head back to the uh, tipsy topsy tankard. Why not the lawmaster? We should see the lawmaster. Yeah. True. Yes. Sorry. I, it's, I'm not thinking straight. It's quite all right. We've had a lot to take in the past day or so. Yeah. Plus so, a lot of gifts. Mm. Also, as we yes. walk to the Lawmaster, Rainier is using jump and jumping. <laughs> Over several buildings. Oh, I'm actually, <laughs> I'm actually trying to figure out how big is my jump with it. So... It would change when you shift as well, because I'm pretty sure shifting gives you more. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. More leg power. More jumpy. Yeah, yeah. So mm. it's a it's a pretty hefty jump if I'm shifted, but right now it's just like three times normal person jump. You have that. Yeah, so your happens. long jump is your, I believe, your strength. Your high jump is your strength modifier in feet. So triple that. So thirty feet. Strength modifier. So zero feet. <laughs> I don't. <laughs> Wait, you cannot dimension? jump zero feet. Like, my strength is 10. Do I jump zero feet? Wait a second. I will double check. That's zero, right. Tony. Three is zero. Um, yeah. Your high jump is... So, sorry, your high jump is three plus your strength modifier. So for you, it's just nine. Oh, okay. So you can jump okay. nine feet in the air. That's pretty fair. That's pretty fair. That's... Fair. Mechanically, mechanically, cats in D&D can't jump at all, so, you know. <laughs> that's very, very funny. Wait, what? But yeah, if yeah, I'm... Help. If I'm uh, in my cool, cool form, there's there's something about jumping, but I've never fucking used it, so I'm also, trying to. I think it's I think it's double. Is a number of feet, to, a number of feet, to your strength score. So if you move at least ten feet, so you could long jump thirty feet. You could jump your entire move speed in one turn, like more than that. Okay, so uh, with with my shifting, uh, my long feet, uh, so. 
right now my base long jump is how much you said? Ten. So Three. Strength score. Oh, yeah. Ten. No, ten. 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 So the jump okay, scale makes it so, thirty. So I have if I'm shifted, it's twenty. So it's forty feet jump. No, it's triple yeah? yep. sixty feet jump. So it's a sixty feet jump. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's pretty funny. Uh, but tell me if I'm wrong. Jumping still counts as your movement, correct? Yeah. True, but so. if you're jumping in the air, I'm gonna. I'll let you, like, because everything's happening at the same time. I'm not gonna just like, oh, you have a sixty feet jump, thirty feet. Yeah. Oh, no, it's gonna be thirty <laughs> feet, and then on the next part of your turn, the next turn, the thirty rest of the thirty feet will go over. Okay, I see. So mm -hmm. basically, this ring just gives me what plus five feet of movement, because my movement right now is fifty-five if I'm shifted. So, also, if you need yeah. to just, like jump over yeah, like a, a room, yeah. jumping to a high ledge. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, it's also funny. <laughs> yeah, but as soon as I'm getting a broom, this this ring really, like, and never using it again. <laughs> There's a reason I gave gold value for the components on it. Yeah, that's really neat. Also, uh, the sapphire ring works really well with Merc's uh, skin tone. <laughs> the dark blue on the light blue. Uh, we can also put in the planning chat, like how you guys want to split things up as well. So. Oh, also, I think yeah, true, true, true. out of character, we should just uh, we should give the the dimension box to someone who does not have extra dimensional uh, luggage already. The, the what? Yeah. Okay. We have the yeah. little thin loxodon box. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. we have a hole and we have a, a sack. Now we have a, a little we have a box. sliver of box. You know what I'm saying? Okay, but like, um, who's who gonna who gonna have it? I well, feel I like it'd hole. be. Um, <laughs> of course, yeah. I do. I feel like it'd be best to go to either you or me, Daria, because you need to carry a lot of components for. <laughs> I was just like, <laughs> yeah, actually, okay. I, I think <laughs> it's gonna. Mechanics. I think it's going to look know, fun for like alchemical shit. I'm going to put my alchemical stuff there, like ding, ding, ding. Uh, yes, it's, it's yeah, all the little vials. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'll take yeah. it. So, yeah. Is there it. a card for it? Um, no, it's just, it's a, it would be the same as a bag of holding, but a hundred. Uh, and it's a much smaller, 12 inch by four inch. So. Mm -hmm. Which, also, I will say, if you do put, um, components in it this is a feature that i will wait to tell you guys about but i can tell you now it also keeps things fresh for longer yo that's made for it's me a nice. it's a fridge it's a fridge it's a lunchbox <laughs> nice oh, does it look like a lunchbox please no, can it's have... very, like it's... Aww. can maybe have a little lunchbox <laughs> no because she beats them to death with a lunchbox yeah i mean that's <laughs> badass right here would definitely try to beat them to death with a lunchbox hmm. thank god she didn't go to middle much. school she was homeschooled. That made that so much. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's basically her entire backstory is uh, like a an uh, allegory for homeschool. So <laughs> an uh, allegory. Love. That. I don't know, Al. Sorry. Um, so you make your way to prior yes. uh, keen strides. Um, mm -hmm. There is like a small little court office that. There is many lawmasters in the town for different areas, but for your area, there is Pryor. Well, I have a question. Mm -hmm. You said his name is Pryor, yes. and the senator's name is like Prius or something. Uh, do all, yeah. Proxia. Do all uh, Leonin have PR names? No, because okay. you got one for a female Leonin that did not just a couple seconds ago. Mm. Um, oh, do do all Leonin? Okay, okay. Have yeah. <laughs> do all Leonin surnames have like you know? Uh, a movement and a description like free reach and keen stride. No, because you have <laughs> well, solar so the solar for... dream. We're, yeah, solar dream. We're sorry, reaching dream. so hard. So we right said now. solar dream. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> They're trying really hard to, to find the connection. Listen, we're trying to understand the lore of the of the fucking world. Sue us. All right, you'll literally sue us, please. Knock on Priors front door well it's an office so you go in there is a, re yeah. a reception where you'll get shown to the office there is a very very well kept leon and very like the the main is very well like uh trimmed to like elongate the features of the chin and all and they stand up to to meet you it was a pleasure what brings you to my office um 
This is in regards to uh, Senator, what was the name? Um, Rap, go. <laughs> yes, yeah. Senator um, Blath Zoe. Did you find them? We investigated um, his house. Unfortunately, right. yes, we found uh, the senator has passed on. Uh, his spirit remains in the house, but lives no longer. That is odd. We will have to confirm that Senator Proxier said that the house was empty. When was the last time we talked to him? Oh. What do you mean? Oh, we know his plan. We know yeah. he's about to impersonate us. No, 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 but we know that it's, it's probably already happened at this stage then. Yeah. Yeah. Which is, we didn't know if it already happened or if we were going to reach there in time, like just in time for it. Sorry, how so now we already you? know. A week ago. A week ago. What week did ago. he say to you? Okay. Did he just say, oh, I'm going to leave town? Mm, Senator Proxier's residence is within Onderall. They were okay. coming through to look for their friend and they had a key to the home, so we asked them to investigate. Did they seem themselves? Yes, As it seemed mean. the senator was was well within their mind. Odd, but I'm not sure why you're asking. After Do I believe this? <laughs> uh, roll me an insight. Cool. After investigating, did they come back with info? They said that there was no signs of a struggle. They said it was small. They said there was no sign of them leaving. Mm-hmm. 27 days. 27. Yeah, there's a uh, prior, <coughs> prior keen strat. It seems to be uh, okay. telling the truth as they know it. So, unfortunately, mm-hmm. you've lied to. It was unusual. We will have to confirm this information. Do you have a key for the home? No. We were sent on a job to go after to go after a man who's <clears throat> using dreams to take over the bodies of others. That that job ended up sending us towards uh, our senator friend, and so when we went to go check on him, we Are found you a mercenary he- company. Are we technically a mercenary company? Kinda, sorta. Like, are we like a? Yeah. Well, like, it's, it's, we're, it's, we're a group. It's complicated, but if it helps, with, if yes. it helps with the paperwork, you can put us down as that. You will if have to register as well. a mercenary company within Zarsan, otherwise your movements would be considered unjust. Uh, there is a oh. small registration fee. I can get the paperwork. It is a registration fee only of fifty gold, and then uh, twenty gold per annum to keep um, your. Your registration. My dude, how much do we get for finding the senator? Can you just do that from there? Well, we will have to confirm your actions if we can find the the body, so to speak, and such. You know, 400 gold was for the (laughs) information. So, yes, we we will do all the registering. May I finish telling you about the job first? Because it, it actually is a little bit pertinent to the idea of you guys going and verifying our claim. Yes, you may continue. Okay, so there, there are also two dead bodies that he ended up killing after he ended up dying. Um, so as far as we know, the the wonderful gentleman, insert name here, um, who is going, <laughs> who is going around and using dream the dream the everyone knows about the realm of dreams, right? I don't have to like yeah, the land of sleepless okay, dreams cool. is a known realm. Okay, cool. Is using the realm of sleepless dreams to take over a person's body by leaving their soul in that realm. He attempted to do this to her. Yes. He attempted to do this to the center, but failed halfway through. And so instead, his soul is now in the house. He's very hurt. He is very quick to anger. And we managed to somewhat befriend and calm him. We pass on the message that he is angry. The soul still Yes. Yes. Mm-hmm. That complicates things a little bit. Uh, we Very will have to send so. in someone to rid the house of the... 
do not. Don't we are no. we already have that. He asked us to go find his signet ring because Arthur stole it. And that will put him to rest. And he also said that Arthas was going to see Proxier. Was that his name? Proxier, correct. Yes. Proxier. Mm-hmm. Yes. So, nice one. Yeah. He, f- he failed on his attempt with the first senator and then went to his other friend who is a senator and it's likely that he succeeded. So when Proxier came to you to tell you that nothing had happened in the house, it's likely that that was actually Arthas. Well, this complicates things quite a lot. Yes. Senator yes. Proxier is a influential gentleman. Very well respected. Considered one of yes. the... Ojikir Zasan as a country. We have no single head of state, but Senator Proxy's influence is far and wide between many senators that were helped get position there based on recommendation from Proxy, a lot of friends. So this is worrisome. He also yes, has I... the signet ring from the Loxodon senator. Well, if Blast is dead, Blast. that is a deep upset, but not something that could be used against us. This is... I'll be full honest, this is a little bit above my pay grade of the jobs I normally deal with. Which is why I wanted to take the time to explain everything before we got into the logistics of how to clear out the job. Yes, um, I I thank you for your time, and I, I definitely think I know who to bring this attention to, someone that could be trusted. Um, we will confirm this knowledge. Maybe. We can... Blath is not going to attack guards on site if they go into his home to confirm. We do have to confirm this. He may. we send guards with you if you have established contact? Yes. I would be okay with that. Even myself, it would be enough. uh, Yourself would be much better than a a lot of guards, to be completely honest. I never knew Blath personally, but I, I, I will not bring any weapons or or the like he did could. send us to speak with you. So, if you were the that one is, to that come, that would be quite well. That is faith from Bloss. I will I will have to speak to a senator about this on the morrow, but this is work. We, we will need to get you registered uh, post-haste. I will I will get this paperwork done. But, um, we can, this... once, once done, I can disclose the location of Arthur's <laughs> home for you to investigate, and we can May start the paperwork. I... Sorry for interrupting. May I inquire who you are willing to, who you're going to pass this information on to? There is uh, uh, Senator Desiree S. Uh, Stormholt. She is a very, very well respected senator. Okay. Okay. Just wanted to know, just in. In case um, she she would live in the aristocratic district, I would not be like to give out her address without permission. Um, no, 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 we're not going there. We're just concerned that maybe he's on the killing spree of all senators. You know. Well, I have spoken with her only only two days prior. Um, I mean, the <laughs> at the very least, as far as we know, he can only have one body at a time. So that is. Good news. You bring you bring good news. Um, stressful news, <laughs> but um, yes, 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 yes. Um, I love him. He's so flustered. <laughs> like yeah, this, he I deals mean, with like <laughs> small bounty, small stuff, and you're gone. Yeah. We got a crisis. Yeah, we do. Which is um, like our everyday. Which is but really um, um, perhaps only. I do not wish to overwhelm uh, Blath. Um, I I must fetch. My walking stick, my leg is not best, but um, if you could bring me that post haste, that would be good. Um, of course. Of course. Um, um, I can go warn him if that's okay. Oh, you can go on ahead. Um, I am I am terribly sorry. Um, just for as he grabs a quill. What is the name of your mercenary company? Kingfishers. Well, unfortunately, it's the Kingfishers. What do you mean, unfortunately? Everyone said yes to that name, actually. Excellent name. Excellent. I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure that Zamani just says unfortunately every time just to, uh, you know. The unfortunately kingfishers. No, 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 just the kingfishers, sir. She just tries to distance herself from the name. So so it is just the the kingfishers, or is it just kingfishers? The kingfishers. The kingfishers. The kingfishers, perfectly. And who is the leader of your mercenary company? 
Uh, it's kind of a good are. discussion. We don't have Who is my point of contact if I was to reach out to somebody? Lock. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. Um, you can reach out. Uh, Lock is dead. Yeah. No, no Locke Locke is the only one who's alive. Yes. Thank you Locke very much. Locke is not dead. Yes, yes, yes. You mean he's in the future? Sorry. Uh, you mean? Uh, hang on. Would it be no? Reach out to Kalisandir. He's the most wiggly of the would so, fit in with your also can't answer. Wiggly. Oh yeah. yeah. That's the thing. Like in terms of, I can answer. Yeah. Like, well, if it's, through sending, to... if it's through sending, I can send a response. Anyone can. Yeah, yeah but would... you can't do a follow-up. Let's just contact Murk. She, she's not so, a boss by any stretch, but Murk she's Murk is the captain of the Kingfishers. Perfect. No, and, um, she's not. Uh, no, no. Have a... I'm... It's, it's, it's fine, I guys, just, please. I need a point of contact. This is for the paperwork. This is it's just the title that's sure. on the sheet, please. <laughs> sure. Um, and then You're all getting who is very caught up the about the next of contact if, if Murk is unavailable? Ah, go for me, that's funny. No, not Rainer. No. Oh. Not Rainer. Tell us How would you like, like to, to be me. you or me? Yes, okay, I, I can do it. I can do it. All right, then. So yes. your name is... A full name, please. Kalasindia Thalakazia. And yourself, Lady Mercastiel? High Priestess Mercastiel mm. with the Lannis. Yeah, mm. with a four name. No titles. Just, yeah. <laughs> no. We're, we're dropping the full names. <laughs> And um, it's a, a point of residence, if I could. <laughs> well, What's probably. Name of keep? Air, Air I L Keep, Burton. Oh. Um, I'm not familiar, but I, I'm sure somebody is. And if we send a letter to Burton, I'm sure they, they know the way. And um, yes. uh, amount of members in your mercenary company. Uh, expected range we have uh, 1 through 6, 6 through. 15 and 15 through 30 and then other than that actually say, at this point Rania says I'm going to the alchemist store There's and six fucking leaves at this, stage. <laughs> this is way There's too much six. paperwork just, just say fine it. it's fine we have to pay for a person and there's five members yes but I'd rather not do things well no if you, if you wish range. to have more people operating upon your behalf you will need to pay more, more for, for more members it is your taxation will depend on the amount of members and the expected work you, you can receive um, Out of character, real quick. Are you considering like our our our? Wait, wait. Yes, yes, I am. Okay, yeah, but she Aston. hasn't done anything with us. She is She's just on a job she, in the city. Right she now. will. No, she went yeah, off on so her own and out. said that she was doing Jen, her own thing. But if she says I'm part Jen. of the Kingfishers. Okay, fine. Fine. Jen, please, fine. Let's, let's just kill them. Let's just kill them right now. I'm out, I'm almost with you. Okay. So, um, six. How many yes, fine. Six. six. There are six and of us. So six, six through uh, one, one through six. All right. One through yes. six. A little small. Sure. What effect it? Uh, it's how you, you use you it. Okay. Back to expand in future. Uh, not sure. Not sure. Not We're not opposed possible? to it, but also we have no current. We're unsure of it even how long. Work to RIL keep. Just thank as you. A, as thank an you. in case. Um, thank you. I assume right. you have a notary down there. Yes. Sure. Yes. Fuck my life. I forgot. Bureaucracy is like this. Okay. I, I do so, apologize for the delay. Um, I will just fine. need you're, uh, you're three you're just doing a job? stamp. All right. Do you have Wait, a, how many you signatures? Need to me a stamp. No. Kelsey just searches for his. Was that disintegrated? That would have been yeah. disintegrated. Oh, fuck. Shit. Um, Apparently, we don't. So we just Unfortunately, uh, the signatures of the two points of contacts and one of the one of the members. Just uh, just for right. knowledge, and I will sign myself. And if you do not have a stamp, I can provide a generic one. Thank you. Right, that will work for now. Generic. <laughs> it just says it just says this is a generic OGQ stamp. Yeah. Uh, it <laughs> yeah. just says uh, just says mercenaries of Zarsan. Just yeah. M S E. Sounds good. Zamai has a very fancy looking signature. <laughs> Perfect. Um, sorry. Um, could you also just um, not in calligraphy, just name it, name an initial up there as well. Oh, sorry. Print and right. sign. Print and sign. Oh. Please. Um, perfect. Perfect. This should be Actually. about. I will. I will. It's a little late. Be honest. I suppose. No. I, I will get it done tonight. I will get it done tonight. Um, other than that, I will. Uh... Yes. Um. <laughs> I, I will go warn our friends. 
So, so as, as everything is wrapping up, this, this is the paperwork bullshit I signed my name, I'm out. I'm, I'm going to go back to the house. And when I get there, I'm going to knock on the door. And I'm going to apologize for bothering him again so soon. Yeah, you can do so. Mm-hmm. We're just going to be fun. playing the piano. And I let him know that the, the lawmaster is coming to confirm what's happened. Okay, so, um, <laughs> as he gets all his little paperwork away, you're playing the piano. Who wishes to escort uh, prior Keen Stride, which is like, uh, ironic seeing as he currently has a limp. Um, yeah, I'll be going with him. All right. Yeah. So there's that. <laughs> Rainer was like, I'm going to the store. Oh, well, yeah, she, boing, boing, boing. she went for this guy's sake. Otherwise, he'd be probably bleeding out on the farm. <laughs> She left about 15 minutes ago. <laughs> yeah, she's done. She, she's going to get to the alchemist store. It's going to be closed because it's, it's nighttime it's now. Sunday. And that's going to yeah. be the last drop of patience. She's going to rip out the, the door and wreak havoc. So you bring him and for sake of expediency, he, Prior will confirm the body and of your 400 gold bounty, 50 gold will be taken for your registration fee. Yep. Yeah. So will we get the 350 gold bounty? Yeah, you will get the 350 gold bounty. And on the morrow, you Perfect. will meet Senator Stormhold. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh, at the office? Or at the office. At the home. Cool. Mm-hmm. And Rina, you wanted to make your way to the floating flower. Yes, jumping. Um, as you stride through the streets, and leaping and bounding, um, the, it is... On the cusp, you see a very well well dressed gentleman um, getting ready to close up shop. Everything's being like <laughs> shuttered on the outside. I'm gonna be the the <laughs> most annoying ass customer. Just like jumps in <laughs> on the last minute of a working day. <laughs> like no, such a dick. I hate it. Um, also, I believe Belros is a. I want to say half elf. I want to say I've said that before. Um, I think so. You can say whatever you want to say. This is your world. Uh, I know, but I, I, th- I believe I've said him before. I just can't remember if it was half elf or Leon. I believe it's half elf because if it was Leonie, he'd have a much weirder name. Uh, yeah. Uh, oh, I'm terribly sorry. I did not. Where did you come from? Ah, uh, I jumped over here. It's like a magic Uber. All right. Um, I am. I'm closing for the night. Is there something urgent you need? Yes, very. I was about to kill a man, so I-, I need some soothing down through alchemy. You see, I'm something of a alchemist myself, and I I, I need a-, a-, a kindred spirit in these trying times. I'm very sorry to hear that. Are you all right? Do you need me to get the guards? No, he's he's the lawmaster, so pretty sure the guards would be on his side, sadly. <laughs> all right. Oh, fucking rain here. And you said your name was? Uh, Rainier. Yeah, Rainier, Rainier, Rainier. Why can I place that name? Uh, oh, no. probably heard about me or my dad, one of the two. That's definitely not it, but, uh, all right. Okay, um, have you seen, like, a, a lady with a snake tail or something? That's it. There was a lady with a snake tail for a while. Hmm. Um, when was that? Can you do you mind? Oh, months ago at this stage. And I usher him back into the shop. Yeah. <laughs> he, so he has to take oh, out his keys because he was doing the shutters for the windows. He's like, oh, sorry. Um, yep. <laughs> um, as he gets everything ready, reopens up the shop. It's quite beautiful inside. It's all very like, you know, hanging baskets of herbs and flowers that are just like draping. It's very much so like a la pick a mix for herbs, if you so wish. There's like, you know, buy the bag load of herbs. Nice, um, nice. And there's like in the center, there's just this large cauldron set atop this like lazy fire at the stage. It's just like simmering. Um, please, uh, come in. Um, but if you could, please take off your shoes. Why? I, I don't like the outside dirt interfering with the general vibe of my plants. Does he have like a wind chime and yeah, like sage is. burning? Yeah, Motherfucking hippies. Rainier grumbles <laughs> but takes off her shoes like fine, bro. Um, so, um, are you related to the girl with the snake tail? Yeah, she's my sister. Did she do anything oh. wrong? No, she's very, very pleasant. Um, oh. very, very skilled, actually. Uh, she showed oh. me a few, few things. <laughs> and to her ally as well. Uh, what was his name? 
starts with an M. Do you think it starts with a G? G. G. Sorry, I I get on tangents quite a lot. Gromathia. Yeah, that is it. Gromathia. Yes, and they did. They were quite good for business. Um, how is your sister? Making her way in the world, I guess. You know, making moves, starting trends. Um. She's, right, so well, she's kind of an influencer. Trained. Yeah. I will, um... Perhaps, um... I can, I can get you some suit salts. They do generally make someone extremely tired, but it, it would be almost, uh... If you're extremely strung up, it might counterbalance that a little bit. That was such a jump in topics. Why did you just try to give me salts? And that's not you your salts. You said you stressed. I was I'm trying to help. No, I'm I'm straight edge. Drugs are not cool. But you said you do alchemy. That's different. But salts are made via the alchemical process and herbalistic process. Never mind that. Stay on topic, my dude. What's what, what was your name? Oh, my name is uh, my name is Belros. Belros. Very nice. So, they came in two months ago. You said. Oh, it could have been three. It could have been four. A could have been a ago. year, can you, like... I oh, know, it was definitely within the past year. No, okay. no, I think it would have been... No, the leaves are... Yeah, no, they were full bloom, I suppose. Uh, yeah, start of summer. summer. Rainier has, like, steam out of her ears, like, uh-huh, mm-hmm, you're cool. No, so it would so... have been uh, Orithio, around the start. Okay, and that's, like, four months ago? Uh, so we are currently in Jeriel, so, yeah, about four months ago. Sweet. Uh, how long do they stay? What did you talk about? Um, oh, they, they went through for very long. Um, I only saw them two or three times. Just for components, uh, we talked about different uh, different concoctions, different stuff that can be made, you know, various, uh, uh, various, you know, potions, uh, salts, uh, oils, the likes. Um, there was, you know, talk of other stuff, you know, Poisons and stuff, but I don't really dabble in that. Um. Okay. Anything specific uh, of of interest that they they mentioned, like phylacterish malacteries or something? Uh, no, nothing to do with the phylactery. Um, the I think the the main thing was just. General, well, I suppose the most common item is the, uh, is, is healing, obviously. That is very, uh, the most, you know, sensible. Um, there was a, I, you're her sister, it's fine, I, I don't need to, yeah. there was a, a concern, we, we talked briefly on something that I was, Working on that, apparently that's where it must have gotten out, but, um, it's, it's not ready, um, but I have been working on a potion that mimics a revivify spell. Neato. Wait a second. When we were in the city besieged by ghouls, Brendan Moore. Brendan Moore, yeah. didn't I get a recipe for that? Was that a greater restoration? That was greater restoration. Yes, yes, you're right, you're right, right, right. Okay, so I've never heard about that thing being made. So that's not something that alchemists... No, this isn't it. Okay, and they were interested? They were interested. They talked about... See, you're... Obviously, you know your sister. She struggles with um, bouts of... uh, Psychosis, I suppose you could put yeah, it down to moments it. moments of uh, where she is less than herself. And um, there was talk that it has happened in the past where she has lashed out. And when she came through to her mind, um, she she regretted, obviously, what she had done. Um, very tragic. There was more of a... You know, if, if she were to hurt somebody, to have something on her to... to to undo the damage that was done, although you can't quite repair a relationship after that, there is a, you know, a less permanence in 
not being dead. Yeah, I get it. Um, so you see that that runs in the family. So I, I also do have a keen interest in that as well. Do you need alchemical help? I'm no, no. Quick. Um, it's mostly just conceptualizing what would and wouldn't work. Um, I, I don't need help. It's just it's a, it's a long process. It's a it's a long brewing process. It's been a long a lot of trial and error. But obviously, trying to find things ethically to try it on is uh, is right. difficult. So uh, do you have a recipe now? No, no, nothing. I'd be willing to to part with. And even when I do do create it, if I am known for it, it would be unbecoming of my business if I were to give away the recipe. Sure, of course. What I'm concerned about is that when you do make that recipe, um, Gromathea, that person my sister is traveling with, he he's quite ruthless. And my concern is if they get their hands on your recipe and you don't have anyone else have it, then they would be the only one with it. And unfortunately, Gromothia is not the person who, you know, is very generous to others. They seem perfectly fine, but um, I appreciate your concern. Um, but I I don't see any... I, I thought we were getting along quite well. Um, of course, <laughs> but in a couple of days, news from Erosphere might reach your ears. And when it does, you should reconsider. I'm not saying give me your uh, developments, although it would be quite cool of you because I'm kind of trying to save the world, but whatever. Uh, what I'm saying is be very careful. This this friendship you found might turn against you at some point. I, I, will, I will heed your advice. There was another thing they asked about. They said it was purely scientific um, a, a poison known as Midnight's Tears heard about that heard about that it's, mm. uh, it's ingested it is a slow acting thing it, it waits for the stroke of midnight and is quite often lethal to a lot of people it's added to food or drink a lot of the time um, but they were asking specifically about a way to have something that quite delayed deadliness but less lethal, so to speak. Something to... Incapacitate? Incapacitate. Mm -hmm. But it, they, they assured me it was based on something that they had seen and they were just curious how it could be developed. Sure, sure. All right. And that poison, is the, is the smell or taste of it detectable? Is there any specific um, antitoxin? There is antitoxins, quite expensive to make, and unfortunately, it's uh, it's probably the worst for all ingested poisons, as it is uh, odorless and tasteless and colourless. Um, so. True. It, it's all right. It, it's difficult to make. It does involve a little bit of a uh, rare ingredients, so it's not something that's easy to easy to make. Uh. I have. A question for you. What... Do you have a recipe for this? Not one that I'd be willing to, to circulate. I think I, I've studied it for the moments of antitoxins, but I don't I don't actively go around to tell people recipes for poisons. Listen, I am not a very persuasive person. So, it is quite unfortunate that you're dealing with me. However, I am not talking about circulating these things. Again, the people you struck up this beautiful friendship with, Gromophia just killed a lot of people in the atmosphere. The news might reach this place soon enough. What we're trying to do is we're trying to stop their exploits. And unfortunately, the information you gave them will be quite powerful in bringing more people to their demise. I will give you my word that 
any recipes you give me will not leave my hands. But I know of them and I'm willing to try and stop their exploits, but I would need help. Uh, so roll me a persuasion check, please. Okay. It's a good argument, I will say. It's a good Sorry, argument. Sorry, as, as you're persuading someone. <laughs> uh -huh. Well, I know I'm pers- I know, okay? I know. Can oh, wait. Can I use no. my alchemy bonus for this one? I would say not, no. <laughs> well, good, good gamer. Let's hope. Let's hope I roll well. Please be good. Okay, okay. Uh, fuck me. Fuck me. I have... I have two journal inspirations in the bag. I'll, I'll use one no of them. No more to be given. You're gonna use yeah, both? I, I will use one of them. One of them, okay. So the rule's pre pretty good, but... It's, it's a stress out. My persuasion is zero, so I need to roll around. Okay, it's a six. Oh, okay. Sweet. So that's 21. Oh, yes. Okay. I can give you the recipe for the antitoxin. Yeah. But that is no issue. Um, but I, no, I, I can give you the recipe for the poison. It, begrudgingly, mind you. <laughs> this is a Sorry, what risk. Is I will give you the recipe for the poison, albeit a little bit begrudgingly. This is not good mm -hmm. for my reputation, so to speak. Mm -hmm. And if it were to get out. I suppose the other thing that you should know is there was a, a very keen interest in your sister to find a... The easiest thing to call it is a truth serum. Does that exist? It does. It it's very similar to the similar to the effects of a Zona Street spell, although the the potion coaxes the target to be a little bit more loose lipped. And what you need for the the truth serum what they're looking for is you need some fairy stool. And you need some Mind Flare Stinkhorn. It is a underdark, uh, uh, world below plant. Um, other than that, for the Midnight Tears, you need a Death Cap and Ica from an Ankeg, along with other materials. Uh, the the Midnight Tears are it's about a thousand gold worth of other base components, and the Truth Serum is about five hundred gold of base components. Damn. Okay. Okay. Yikes. Okay. And I assume he has none of his uh, ingredients in his shop right now. No. Mm -hmm. He doesn't stock poison materials. He only stocks. And truth serum as well. <laughs> yeah. Truth serum is a poison, yeah. Uh-huh. Oh, that's Okay. Okay. Thank you. That is good information. I promise you I'm not trying to use this information for anyone's harm. Uh, kind of the opposite. Um, just to, you know, bring the stakes down a little bit and chill on the, you know, horrible truths and alchemical secrets. Um, I was actually interested in two ingredients, if you, if you, uh, have those. Sure, um, yeah, that's, that's fine. Yeah, I am just trying to find them, because la last week I knew perfectly well what I was trying to find, <laughs> but not this week! Hey. Rainier, uh, Rainier pulls out a shopping list. Uh, yes, but I actually remember... Um, aha, so... We are in Savannah right now, yeah? Yes. Okay, so it's safe to assume that I would be able to find Morning Dew and Marusa Bush on my own. Um, you can certainly try, yeah, definitely. That would okay. be a difficult find. Yes, uh, so the only one I... So I would ask him about, like, theoretical locations of these ones, but the only ingredient I want to try uh, to ask from him is Hagfinger, because we just left swamps and we're not going to be back there for a long ass time, and I might need Hagfinger. Is that a new James Bond movie? 
Uh, finger. Yeah, sure. <laughs> I am familiar with the plants. I, I, I think I have two. Okay. I would have to charge you fifty gold. Uh. Okay. I did not read the the, the Discord chat. Did we decide to split any gold? Because I only have ten gold. Yes. Already. Yes, we did. Um. So you have ten plat and one hundred gold. Oh, so that's two hundred gold. Yeah. Yes. So yeah. each one is fifty, or both. Each 50? one is fifty. I'm gonna use a hundred gold on that. Okay. And um, he says for the morning dew, and what was the other one you said? Uh, bush. Bush times. <laughs> bush times? Bush times. Uh, Marusa bush. Marusa bush. Okay, one second. Uh, they um, both grow in savannas, so I, I would like to like, <clears throat> yeah, just to it. So, the Marusa bush is going to be the the harder one, I think, it is slowly becoming out of season as the air is getting a little bit more damp with the with come of winter and fall. Um, I would say your best bet is I know of a one moment. There is an uh, alchemist in in Onderall that harvests that sort of stuff. Um. Their name is uh, Zyrus Wiserest. Um, you got me fucked all the way up. What are these names? How do I write that? <laughs> uh, Z Y R U S. Z Y E O U S? Uh, R U S. R U S. Okay, Zyrus. She's an elf? Uh, she's a Leon. Alchemist. Yeah, that's Leon. In Underworld, um, okay. She doesn't really have a shop, it's more just word of mouth. Um, but she does harvest a great many things, and I imagine she would have stocked up on uh, stocked up on such things by the end of the season. Uh-huh. And this this guy, you gave me his name, but I did not write it down. Can you give it me one uh, Belros. B-E-L-R-O-S. Belros. Bastard, so no second name. Sorry? He's a bastard, so no second name. Ah, okay. I, I thought you were giving me his his race. I'm like, bastard? <laughs> what is that? <laughs> the okay. bastard race. Thank you, Belros. You've been a great help. If if I have any news or any... Actually, he gave me a lot. I'm going to give him my own research into uh, speak with animals potion. Well, thank you. That is very kind of you. Mm. Yeah. Thank you. That is very, very kind of you. No problem. Um, I'll try to stay in touch, but in the meantime, please do be careful. Right. Um, I don't want to scare you too much, but things are shitty out there. That's. I appreciate the the warning. <laughs> um, it's it does not go unnoticed. Okay. Um, if there's anything you need from concoctions, I know you say you're capable of crafting yourself, but if if I can help. If there's anything you wish to purchase, I am capable. <laughs> okay. I I will bid him farewell and leave. So you bid him farewell and leave. And we're gonna go ahead and take our first break there, actually, because I just noticed the time. Um so this yes. is a little bit of the stream where we talk about stuff that's important in the world and for the past while and hopefully for not too much in the future, hopefully things do get better eventually. But uh the situation in Ukraine, I think it's something what over eleven million people displaced already, if and ongoing. I haven't uh, oh thank you, someone already for me. Thank you, AJ. Um if it's within your means to donate, that's very cool. I put the Red Cross Ireland because that's the closest charity to me, being in Ireland, and that they do good work. Um just any reputable charity that's, you know, good standing and just learn about what's in the world if you can't afford to donate that's okay too just be aware of what's happening because it benefits us all knowing what's happening in the world and you know just don't be a dick we'll be back soon in a bit bye
Okay, we are back. Uh, um, Jen, was that last thing you said for me, or was that for somebody else? That was just for the group. No, that was okay. Group. Okay, perfect. So, um, we're planning chat. As you all, I want to say, go get a night's rest. Um, is there anything people want to do before the night's over? Um, well, did, did, did is everything okay, did, confirmed? Everything is confirmed. We you, you went with prior keen stride. That was confirmed. The meeting with Senator Stormhold has been set up. The following morning, um, there there is information that will be coming in the morrow with various various people. But for now, the mm. night's work is done, and you have been registered as yeah. a mercenary company. Yeah. Right. No um, longer committing tax um, fraud. Do, did <laughs> did we receive any information on Kelsia when, when the night has come? Um, what regards would you receive that information? He's supposed to go to Anna's house, correct? He did not go to Anna's house. After you cool. offended him, he walked away and said, I'm not, I'm, I'm done. Mm -hmm. Offended him. Uh. Actually, okay, never mind, but sure. Uh, so uh, also, I did go talk to him after the fact. When asked yeah, when... well, you also gave him a bit of money and he said, I'll be fine, I need time away from y'all. And he did not walk in the direction of Anna's mother's house. Sure. Okay, yeah. so cool. while he does not come back, I will raise uh, a question with Mark, like, Maybe check in on him. See if he's, like, alive and shit. I think give him a night. Okay. I will speak I think, to him tomorrow. I think give him a night, and I think it would be the right thing to do, Rainier, to show some measure of apology and sympathy. You saw his reaction to what you said. I think showing a degree of sympathy would be the right course to take. Uh, can, can you remind me what I said that was so offensive? Trying to immediately push him back into action after he had lost his entire life's work, all of the animals that he cared for, his brother tried to murder him, his entire town that he had grown to be very close with died by his brother's hand. I don't think he was in the mood for discussing business. Sure, and not being in the mood is not me being offensive. I don't think. Right. Uh, However, in his current frame of mind, maybe not for you, but for other people, the comments you made may have been taken that way. Whether or not you see it like that is one thing, but how he took it is another thing. Sure. And that is completely his business. Listen, Cal, I'm not good at lying. And I truly do not believe that I said anything that was so horrible. Besides, I was the one to push for him to be like saved by us. So... If he wants to indulge in desperation, that is his choice. But I will not lie to him and say that I feel bad about trying to fix the situation in every way we can. I so, did make the point to him that what the thing is that what you were trying to do wasn't actually meant to be insensitive. Mm -hmm. But the, the thing is, is that not people do need time to grieve their losses and he wasn't not allowed that by you immediately attempting to push him back into acting as if nothing had happened it... you don't need to explain the same thing for me guys i'm not dumb i just don't agree with you if you i, I didn't think to... you were dumb it, it, it was shot. just yeah. you, you've I'm been just saying that you're getting new to this whole empathy thing so i was trying right. to try to if that was a, a learning point thing, I was trying to be helpful. No, it's not. I, I don't think you get done. his situation. I just completely disagree with it. And if you guys want to have a diplomacy thing with him, again, I'm not good at lying. He will see that I don't feel remorse because I don't. I'm just worried about his life. So however we approach the situation is up with the group. But if you want me to act sorry, he will probably be even more offended because I'm not, you know. I guess maybe I don't think it should be an apology for wanting to help because that, that is what you were trying to do. I think you had good intentions in that. I guess maybe instead it could be something along the lines of you're you're not sorry for what you did because you had good intentions, but you're sorry that it wasn't what he needed, maybe. Hmm. Attempting to explain why you said. Because I, I don't, you, it. you didn't ha mean any bad intentions like that. Mm -hmm. That is a very key point, but mm -hmm. it's also very easy to see based on how he reacted. That's not the kind of thing that he needed. Sure. It's all very hypothetical right now. 
Uh, let's leave that for if we ever see him again. For now, I'm just more concerned of he went off and we know my sister has crying. So if they have any doubts about him being alive, we can't protect him. So the, the little kumbaya thing, we can try and do that later. I'm not opposed. It's just right now we have bigger fish to fry. Right. However, if we do, I mean, are you suggesting that we go after him now? Or? No, 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 no. I just, I want to keep tabs. Maybe tomorrow, like Merck suggested. But we should just, you know, know if he's alive because that can become a, a pertinent piece of information. Right. Right. Well, I can send him also, a message. Sorry. And I, I think we had someone else we wanted to contact. And we said it's an evening thing, but I forgot who that is. Uh, we were going to speak. Uh, we were going to try nail. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. So we should probably do that today then. Yeah, I'm going to do that before bed. I also have a request for you to use your sending, Macastio. Okay. I think it's very pertinent to mention to King Everett that both the Lich in progress that is roaming around Burton and on Thinvale, there are two lieutenants to Samael, two of his key servants, both within his territory. Right. Oh, and we know right. their location. Yeah, and, too. sorry, it's a lot. I, I hope you have the spells for it, Mark. But another thing we should say is we should try and get the word to the library owner, the archive man, that his guys are yeah, fully dead. That can wait a second. Des, I want to confirm the lieutenant that is on Thinvale, is that Merrick Kath? Yes. Yes. Cool. Fuck yeah, no, it's... Um, hey. And then it's Gromathia is the other lieutenant? Yes. Okay, cool. Um, uh, that'd be a message to Viola, but because of... Has Viola expressed to me what to do if I can't contact her through the Sapper Stone? Great. All right. Also, I will say, Kalasinde, fucking... you have a reason to believe that Viola may be less involved in the kingdom's affairs. Yeah, but just in terms of getting a message through. True. To I'm just saying, like, if every time, I know, I know. Ward <laughs> no longer has business, she could be on a boat back to Zakir by now. Yeah. 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 Um, no, but we don't. You did kind of get her fired. <laughs> Did we? I did. How did? Yes. When? Um, when was that? Fired. The wow. dream. Oh, oh, oh. Viola fired. The dream I had. Talking to, to my mom. Cal got Viola fired and replaced with a starless ambassador. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Oh. Oh, that's and, what happened. That, yeah, whenever that's I talk yeah. to his mom, I just tune out. So. That's why AJ was so mad and then you were making fun of him for being salty. I, I, was, I was mad because I thought it was going to happen like in the yes, future not i i today. thought it's not like actual thing that, that happened. happened like two weeks ago now almost okay okay because yeah. mm. i remember um, that was on the table but... on the boat before uh but, but you know what Sebastian. that means yes she could be a new retainer <laughs> i'm just okay. saying she Get was quiet and then hire what's, her big brain what's worse is our parole officer is no longer our parole officer basically hey, that However, is she did she did recently scry us yes. so it means that she still has a measure of interest or involvement in our current case How? she scried on you what a couple of days ago a couple of days yeah, yeah. Two days. yeah like two days, days ago Cal yeah. yeah. is such yeah. a stinker why did you get our girl fired um <laughs> no, okay, still, six anyway. sessions later yeah <laughs> i also well, Anna's not here, so I think we can discuss this further with her, but I think it is potentially a wise course of action to help King Everett in his trials that he has to undertake. If it is Samael's wish to see each realm destabilized, we should do our utmost to stabilize where we can. Burton, I do agree yes. with that, but I, I do want to... I am worried because, I mean, when is that happening? Uh, I, we have so year, many right things now. that we have to have do. In such a short oh, amount of well, time, that's, that's can we risk. even go? Yeah, I feel like no, we should is check in problem. with him. Also, we should check in with him. He's not it is the only our heir. problem. 
Hey, we should not. No, should However, that would completely it. destabilize it. We don't like him. As in, I don't think <laughs> not met him. the entire. Oh, never mind. The other S guy. I don't think that we can stretch, or it can be stretched, that the storm happening twice in a row like that on a coronation, the Morabia as it is, is completely on edge between Burton and the Morabia. If mm. he is to die, then that would shatter that completely. I agree. That Burton falls into disarray, and that falls right into Samuel's hands. I, I, I completely agree with you. It's just, we need to be able to travel faster if we're going to do all of these things. Absolutely. We don't, I mean, it could take us a month However, to get back home. We, which is why we need to message Everett and ask him, or at least get into contact, and relay our interest in this matter so we can find out. That's At the right. very least, we have a teleportation <sighs> circle that we know of in Burton. Mm. I will say it's also not a yeah. great leap to assume that Jar and Veer knows of that circle. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. But imagine we have all these plans and Merg just says, no, not gonna message. Imagine the fallout. Well, that's the, the power thing. she Merc holds. Is... <laughs> yeah, Merc's, yeah. Thought process, Merc's thought process right now is... Why the fuck is this guy telling me to look after the guy who I've spent most make it of a, my stop, life stop, with? Stop it, make it a role play this. moment. Yeah, it, yeah. Make yeah. it a role play Mark. moment. Yeah, don't don't don't, don't tell us if, what Merc is if... thinking. Be Merc. Because she has had so many times where you have ha said, "Hey, this is what she's thinking to us after the session." We have no yeah. idea what how Merc feels in character. Let us interact with tell her. us. Please stop! Stop gatekeeping the paladin. Not the paladin. Sorry, I got distracted. Sorry. <laughs> Ethan will do that. Um, too. Yeah, you will. Uh, all right. Um, I I understand your concern with this, Cal, but do you not think that I have not spent days thinking about, months thinking about this trial that he's going to undertake. I've heard whispers of how deadly this thing is. I know, I know that we should help him, but how, when we have 50 million other things that we need to be doing? Right, but it doesn't hurt to ask, and at least gain more information. As to how, no, it when, doesn't, but... how, we, how we can help when it is to occur, that is information we can find out and then plan from there. I'm merely trying to future-proof all of our plans and look forward to the future, as opposed merely to the next moment and the next moment. More of a long-term aid in our war against Samaya. Okay. Um... The only uh, long-term planning I did was planning for the wedding, so uh, forgive me <laughs> if I don't think to the future often. Uh, Wait, hold on. Merc, didn't just two seconds ago said you spent months agonizing about his trial, and then... Mm. Yeah, but not like, not in terms of doing, doing shit about it. Well... <laughs> <laughs> Thought and planning are Thought very different. I see. Yeah, basically. <laughs> I hate Merc. Typical <laughs> Merc. <laughs> She's got a lot of shit on her plate. Anyway. She does, um, like, to be fair, all of you do. True, true. Mm, so much. Uh, yeah. Um, it might even be more useful to do a dream. Uh, not tonight, of course, but in the future, organizing a dream with Everett to try and discuss these things properly, uh, with more than right. 25 words. Absolutely. Um, but I think at least mentioning our interest, or our rather our potential interest, at least puts our names forward and lets him know. Of course. Of course. Um, all right, so that would be a lot. Sending a message to Viola to ask her about what was that about again? Hang on, to tell her about the two left lieutenants that are 
Yes, Finvale and, and Gormathia. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Finvale is not the, the library. Well, you've got Viola, yes. you've got Corset Cedra. For, yeah. um, Corset, I think that's his name. That's a pull, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. Corset Cedra, that is definitely yeah. the name. Does. And maybe uh, Neil, Nile, Niles. Nagel. No? Nagel. I don't fucking, I didn't sleep with him, you did. That's no, yeah. Also known as Neil. No, um, Neil and not Hulk never. <laughs> and not, not never. Never, never. Not never. No, no, no negatives, no. Look, as Nagel said, as many as a fit in the bed. No, 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 no. <laughs> Just see a bigger bed, nice. it's fine. Yeah, it's fine. Right. Arrow keep. Listen, if, if I were a paladin, so you've got who's Nagel? in this, then yes. Nagel, Corzeth, and Viola. Is it three mm. you want to do, AJ? Uh, yeah, I don't have the slots to do one, but yeah. <laughs> what slots do you have? Do you have? Uh, yeah, I can. I can do uh, if I want to. Can you upcast the and... You can. Yes, you can. I mean, Does technically, I have roof? the slots, but no. That would be cool. why not. I can technically do all three tonight. Ugh. Um. Yeah, no. I'm just trying to think of what I'm going to say because. Who goes into sending the future what you're going to say? You just start and lose well, words. Yeah. Let's start um, with the easiest one, which is to mm -hmm. Nagel. Let's ask, hey, are you and Derek alive? Hugs from Rainier to Derek, but not you. Bye. <laughs> That's all you need to say, really. All right. Um, if we're saying yeah, hi, I would love to say hi. I'll just uh, conjure a little a little sparrow in my hand of celestial energy. And just... um. So many times you get spouses that also bring you breakfast. Or spouses, not spouses, sorry. Are you married? Congratulations. Oh, no, God, no. <laughs> Just the player, Jen, can't fucking words today. <laughs> Same. <laughs> All right. To Nagel. Nagel, heard of Altira Sphere. Are you and Derek alive? Okay. Can we help in any way? Also, Zamani says hi. And really, you have the words for it. It's not important. Not important. And the birds already left. Okay, so Nagel, no response. Try Derek. Try Derek. My boy, he's alive. I know it. This can actually be done so much quicker without sending slots. Uh, Merc gets out some incense and candles and chalks and casts commune. And uh, just Nemavana is the uh, mage, correct? Yeah, the mage. Uh, yeah, the mage that we met from the Shadow Paradox, named Derek, still alive. So, a little bloom appears in your hand, a sign of life. Derek is live. Hell okay. yeah. Nice. Well, you gotta send him. Like, see what he says. We definitely... I mean, how, it depends on how many spell slots she has. Mm. She's gonna go to sleep. I do but have two spells can't... available to me. I also have a request who has two it's... more things in this commune. Mm. Oh, cool. Yeah. Right. Like, <laughs> hey, what about yeah. Nagel's alive, too? Merc is literally trying to zone everyone out, just we're nattering being, away at we're her. We're being so annoying, yeah. I'll turn this commune around right now. I will stop <laughs> this and we can just go to bed. Yeah. Is Derek still aligned with our goals? You're going to have to... So I, the DM, don't understand because Derek wasn't really aligned with your goals. No. He's his mercenary. I, I'm more saying, I'm more saying he was, like, on our side to begin with in terms of, like, he was capiche with us. I'm basically asking, has he been turned? Okay, um, so... Yeah. He was capiche with us. He was capiche. <laughs> there is... A warm breeze comes through the window. Yes, there's still a feeling of unity between you and Derek. Yes. Okay. Cool. 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 Yes. Good. 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 And that um, and that bit of unity is me, bitch. 
Uh, has Nagel passed on? Flower that once bloomed now wilts. And I wasn't getting releases. you guys to roll for Kelsers yeah. that saved last week. Yeah, I was doing Derek and David. You little, mm. you little. Oh, that's so sneaky. I, I, was, I was wondering why there were six. Um, yes. Also, also, <laughs> so look at this. I'm not trying to point fingers, but. Nagel slept with the money, died. Carl slept with the money, died. I'm not saying anything, but you like connect the dots, bitch. Right. She slept with a lot more people than those two. Fatale, and how which, many of them are now dead? Yeah. At, at the you end burned of them. the commune, you blew them up. At the end of the commune, uh, the little wilted flower Merc just lets it go out the window, and it just like floats off in the breeze and vanishes. Um. I liked him. Right. Yeah. Right. Well, do you want me to try, Derek? Yes. And not just, hey, cool that you're alive. We are, assumedly, we're going to the Enderol place where Shadow Paradox are. You should inform that, that, like, tell him that we're going to going there if he wants to meet us there or give us contact who we can speak to there about him and okay. the situation. Okay. Also say uh, I, I said hi, come on. Be cool. Limited amount of words, Rainier. Um Right. Derek heard about Erosphere. We are uh, where Headed to on Underall? Is that the Underall? Underall. Who can we contact in Shadow Paradox? Rainier says hi. Fuck it, that'll do. So you put that forward. There is a. A weird breath of someone with burnt lungs. Yeah. Yeah. It's good to know you're okay. Nagel didn't make it. Have him with me. Um, I am trying. I This is a pull you guys have asked me. Um, hey, do you actually message me the name? I want to say... Um, Oh, did we? Do you remember them? Do you have it off to hand? You messaged me a name. Me? Yeah, we were talking about Shadow Paradox. I, I can scroll. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Hold do on, you, hold you on, have on, that? Wait, I just because I can't I remember. I do. The yeah, name. yeah, 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 yeah. Um, uh, I can find it, but. Doug. Imagine. It's our friend Doug. I have it somewhere here. Give me a second. <laughs> Look at these cade notes coming in, Pog. Wow. I should probably just do like two words that we put together. Find for you guys' conversation Shadow Paradox and then Um no I can find it. No, it's in a book. <laughs> you can't do find in a book. They're all <laughs> if they were having a conversation that it was Zelray. Lana Zelray. No, Zelray, she is the the leader of the Shadow Paradox. Right. Oh useful. <laughs> Okay. Uh, not very useful. Not much. Hello. Rainer, hello. Aww. Uh, he says hi, Rainier. Um, yes. His lungs sound very, very fucked. Did you uh, say where he is? He didn't say where he is. He said he has Nagel with him. Uh, Nagel didn't make it. So, uh, we can speak to Zelray in the Shadow Paradox, if needed. Um, right, so There's I should actually a mark off. snap. Uh, I can bring him back. Where? In your mind, Mercastiel. I've been keeping the body from when it got burned. Oh. Derek has gentle repairs. 
does does Derek also have sending, or did he do the sending now to you? Yeah, Derek uh, has he just did the sending. Yeah. Derek is with him. Ask yeah, ask yeah. him if he's going to Enderol or something. Like, where is he? We, we can meet I, up. I, maybe. I, I, I can I can respond. I'm literally about to do that. <laughs> Good luck. <laughs> where are you? Where in Ojakir? Could we perhaps meet somewhere I have components to resurrect him? There's a couple seconds. No, there's spells not being used by Derek. Yep. Movement is very slow. We're making our way back to Burton. Okay, okay, okay. Um, he's making his way back to Burton. Okay. Uh, Extrapolate as well, you will say, to get a boat to on. Or close as yeah, can yeah, be. Yeah, yeah. Like he right. is trying to he yeah. is trying to get back to the the mm. like the base of operations while using everything in his power to although someone he begrudgingly worked with, there is still buddy cop energy between Nagel and Derek. Yeah. 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 Uh nice. all right. I'm thinking perhaps uh I'm running this by the team first. Um mm. perhaps getting him to seek healing from one of the temples I'm part of, put it on my tab or whatever to sure. make it was, easier yeah. for him. Um, if that's something that they have, <clears throat> we're not necessarily yeah. sure that they would have the capabilities to do a resurrection. Oh, not to res, but sure. just to heal uh, to heal Derek so that Derek's oh. actually like capable. Okay, right. Yeah, right. that would be great. But if they could resurrect, I will Neil. point out though, uh, what will come through in another sending is. Nagel say, I only got or, to him about an hour Derek after say. it all happened. Sorry, but Derek said, he only got to him about an hour after it all happened. It's, it's not, it's not, because they both went unconscious. It's but, not room of five. Okay. Yeah, Derek was unconscious it's, for it's raised dead. three hours. So, yeah. yeah. Big spells. So it's raised, you, raised dead territory. Cool. Yeah. Do you know of anyone in Burton able to do that, Macastiel? Me. Like, no. That's. Right. Yeah. That was a badass uh, line. Uh, Me. <laughs> <laughs> Want to speak to the manager? <laughs> Bitch, I'm the manager. <laughs> um, you gotta do the saucy spin. There's like, hello. Yeah, you duck down and stand back up. Yo! <laughs> um, Alright, so... Uh, cool. Um, yeah, I'll send another message to him. Um, oh, who would be best for... Out of out of the three priests that I deal with, Des, who would be the most generous and most like if Derek said Merc sent me for healing, which one I would be most terrible. likely? Yeah, cool. Um, I'm pulling a lot of names. Yeah, I'm yeah. Just blanking on You're it. You're good. Sorry. No, that's cool. Nicole's like, um, temple I've... is a perfectly viable answer. You're good. Treth. Treth. Yeah. The one. Um, that, the the one that's you know smoking a bit too much from the garden. <laughs> yeah. Cool. Definitely... Um. The one who gave you materials when you first left, I think, actually. There are, yeah, gave, gave me the, the first room of hide. Yeah. Yeah. Um, in Burton, speak to Tress at the Goldnia's temple. He will heal you if you mention my name. Couple seconds. A wheeze comes through. I understand. I'm getting tired. I need to, I need to rest. I can't waste any more spells. Alright. See you soon. Cool. Right. He'll, uh... Yeah, he's going to stop off at the temple when he gets to Burton to get healed. Right. Uh, he, I don't want to message any, him anymore. He's uh, running low on spells. And, um... Well, he'll we meet us in hmm. Well, yeah. anyway, Merc, thank you. It's all right. Um, Probably better that Nagel died in that conflict and Derek survived due to their capabilities. Hundred percent. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nagel had died and Derek. If Derek was alive and Derek died and Nagel was alive, there's nothing Nagel can, can do for Derek in that situation. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. So I can only really message one more person to if I want to completely tap my higher level stuff. I have a scroll here. You can use as well. Scroll sending. D okay. Why? Why? What is on timing? On timing is only the library. The message to the king and Kelsey can wait until morning. 
Do we of want course, to tell them? However, I want to save okay. everything for more. Okay. Um, do I know? So, Joaquin sleeping patterns wise, do they tend to keep similar eight similar. hour cycle sort of stuff? Okay. It's it, difficult to tell in what sort of sleeping pattern when they're subterranean species, but similar. Hmm. They try and conform for the sake of easiness to message outside of it because your keen aren't like elves they do need full sleep so yeah. mm-hmm. all right um cool i'll uh send yeah i'll do i'll do one more sending tonight and that'll do me for tonight but i just need to find where the fuck he is um sorry Guys, just trying to find the librarian's name. Cause it. There we go. I just found it as you said that. Lol. Um. Uh, hi, curator. Bad news. Your agents have passed on. Have a lead. Uh, we have a lead on Zexel. We'll keep you posted. Understandable. Please do well. Avenge them. Technically, we can't. Um, <laughs> cool. And yeah, Merkel just. All right. Well, I'm. I'm gonna go to sleep. If that's all right with everyone. Uh, good night. Thank you for all of your help with everything today. Go upstairs. Pass out. <laughs> I'm gonna go turn a sword into a bow. <laughs> Hell yeah. <laughs> Weird flex, but okay. On your sheet. So on part of your long rest, you wait and different than what you'd have expected. You focus on the scimitar as you try and attune to it. Change it. For people who are watching with hex blades, since they don't really get magic items in the sense of their weapons, I let them absorb a weapon. It fully consumes it, and they can't ever get it back if they try and do another one, but to let them get cool abilities, and I think it's interesting and fun. So you focus mm-hmm. on the scimitar, and you focus on the runes, and as you attune to it, you choose to absorb it into your hex, and like dust, it disintegrates out of your hand. You feel... An empowerment as you summon your bow. This grey matter. Mm-hmm. Almost smoke. There is Mystic. a strength to it that wasn't there before. Um, I'm just going to rename the scimitar to Longbow. I'm doing it now. Oh, okay, cool. Yeah. Never mind. Let's go. Uh, By the way, just while, we're, sorry, make sure it works. while yeah. we're on the long rest, Cal, did you want to do some dreaming? Um, did you have anyone in particular that we think we should target? Straight no, away. I was just wondering, like, if if you could dream someone off the list, that then we could like take a, a bit of load off Merck's shoulders. I can't contact um, Everett, given the Sapper Stone of, of the palace, right. and anyone in the palace is off limits. Um, do we know that? Think. Do we know that Cal got the vial of fire? Hey, no, he hasn't said anything to you. Also, look, I just was testing it there. The, th- the 30 to hit on the longbow speed. Oof. Yikes. That makes Yikes. sharpshooters so much more viable, too, now. God, that is, that is horrible. Vanable yes. offense. <laughs> Look, it's about Dude. time Jen gets to play a strong mechanical combat yeah. class. <laughs> Very funny. I'm not, I'm not good with combos. That's why literally I was like, does make work, please? <laughs> Yeah, it's a plus three weapon because of your hex played shit. Damn. Does go burr. Dirty. <laughs> Nasty. Beautiful. Mm. Hey, okay, so, shoot, screw, right, screw. So, so we speak. Look, when I mind control you next time, you're going to do even more damage. But you all get a rest. It's okay, I'll, I'll actually use my abilities on round one this time. <laughs> Same. <laughs> oh. <laughs> so, you all get your night's rest. You wake up feeling refreshed. It is a... It's a nice day it's towards the end of summer in Ojakir. It's much milder than... Each day brings a new briskness to it. But 
It is yet to be too chilly. You wake up, there is a meeting with Senator Stormhold. There is bendings to be done, and <laughs> there is a left for you when you go down in the morning, not for any magic sending, not one of the ways to spell stuff, but it's a letter from Jorinvir saying meet me at the same tavern last time when you get a chance. Mm. I'll be there I mean... all day. <laughs> I'm I'm fine to go now if if you guys are. Well, you got Senator oh, no, Stormhold I... first thing in the morning that you probably want to do first. Yes. Oh yeah. Sorry. Yeah. My bad. Question: yes. Is Alchemy Shop anywhere on the road to the Senator or to the town? Um, it's no. So there's more of like a, a mercantile district for all the sort of shopping areas. Like there's main streets and such, but then like law offices are kind of off there basically forming a triangle from where you are. The alchemist is at one point and the senator's office would be another. Okay, sweet. I, I'm not trying to do anything with it except one thing. I want to do one thing, which is at some point during the day, I just don't want to disrupt when we do back and forths, I want to drag Merc to the window of the shop and say, look at this guy. Remember his, his face. We might need to contact him later. Uh, okay, who, who, uh, what? This that guy. <laughs> okay. Just just so we have a just, way to do sending. Okay, yeah. that's smart. So mm -hmm. you make your way. There is a very like bright blonde senator, uh, Leon. The mane is beautiful. There's braids all down through it. The hair is pulled back. No mane, sorry, female. Linus uh, doesn't have, but there's like the hair is beautiful. The fur is quite, quite well maintained. The like sort of like off the shoulder dress that is very much so like whites and golds who seems to be an official matter a lot of bangles very 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 well opulently dressed mm -hmm. well, uh, Priya tells me all of your struggles mm -hmm. I'm Senator Stormhold uh, he says That's you're a... working against a man named Arthas I am not familiar with but I am familiar with uh Proxia. Um, so that is concerning. Um, your information about Senator Blast it turned to be true. So, um, also, what she says, she's speaking pretty much directly to Mark um, as that's on the paperwork as captain. Um, Let's go. What more information do you have for me um, of this Arthur's. Um, uh. Oh, we, we out of this. out of sorry, just out of character, Des. Were we told not to share too much by the um, uh, whatever is the first Shorkin. name, but the Zorro Zorro Kena the creator, yeah. the creator. Okay. What's the name of the library again? Uh, the uh, Arif Sanra. Arif Arif Sanra. Arif Sanra. Arif, Arif, Arif Sanra. I'll put it Arif in Sanra. planning. Well, we originally sent on his trail from the library of Arif Sanra. I said it wrong. You got that. It's, it's close enough. He's obtained knowledge he wasn't supposed to. We're supposed to get it back. <laughs> well, there is record of this artist, a small record, nothing that would have ever deemed them to be this sort of person. Uh, there's few bats from the youth in our in our law master's records. Small arrests for petty squabbles. Um, but this is this is a a climb, so to speak, in a severity. Nothing in our knowledge would have deigned that this would be a logical leap for Arthur's. But if what you say about uh, of Proxia is correct and they are so, in fact, being manipulated. That does pose cause for it's concern. It's not that they're. It's not that they're being manipulated. It's that their soul has been lost to the, the realm of sleep or streams, and now his soul is possessing the body. Well, for the sake of if, if that is the case, that is worrisome. As Proxier is one of many few senators that has had in the past the influence and renown to help swing votes within the senate. 
much. They are well respected and have put keen work into the our military. So that is upsetting. Um, if true, their home is in Onderall. Um, in which case, she gives you an address. Oh. Fuck yeah. Do we? We would like you to. Oh, sorry. Sorry. Do we know out of character if um, Arvus is connected with Samael, or is we it just something we've assumed? We. I don't think we've reached that point yet. Oh, yeah. I guess I should have said something. I assumed that he was probably doing this as a thing of Samael to you know, disrupt the region like he's been doing everywhere else. We found nothing linking them yet. Yet. There's no evidence of that. Yet. No, but it's, I think it's a pretty... Oh, it's... it's a, yeah, I mean, everything is Samael, yes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> everything is Samael. It's Samael <laughs> all the way down, yeah. Mm-hmm. It's not is it cake. More it importantly, there is a a hovel of Arthas's that is within mm. Ojakir city limits. It is quite close to the slums on the southwestern side. Um, so we we do give you leave to investigate that, and if you can bring us proof, obviously, um, proof that Arthas has a done this and um, we can offer another 500 gold uh, just for confirmation that okay. this is in fact happening and we are willing to invest okay. into that on top of that um one second i'm just gonna make note of the reward i've offered you there um yep but this is improv <laughs> yeah my notes today are so messy uh, um i'm running out of space on this page but i don't want to do another one yet um on top of that, um, if you find information within Arthas's home that does indicate Roxia was a target, and you can bring that to us, we can suspend any political movements of Roxia, which would be uh, the first first step into dealing with Roxia. Then the follow-up to that is, should you make your way to Andra, which we would do at, your, at our request, um, if you find this evidence, we give you, uh, we give you rain to detain, Proxia. Uh, non-lethal, mind you, as he is due a fair trial. But if we can have our own arcanists confirm that Proxia does not pass as themselves, and we can figure out that they have been possessed, they will be an execution. And should you have been correct the entire time. We offer you 2,000 gold pieces. Ooh. Right. If, however, um, you go in and you kill Proxia without proof and cannot contain or maintain sufficient evidence to show that Proxia was not in fact themselves and was possessed by Arthas, uh, you'll be stripped of your license as uh, as mercenaries within Zarsan and your captain will be maintained with into a prison sentence equal to one half of their race's lifespan. Aren't you glad, Cal, that you're not on the list? <laughs> yeah, Cal's a solid. It, that is only if you uh, do lethal force without without pr- proper evidence, mm-hmm. and it can be without a warrant. Well, no, you right. have warrant to detain, okay. but you do not have warrant to kill. Okay, that is that is. Uh, just... What if what if, if they try to kill us? If they try or... to kill you, well, if you have enough evidence, and I assume if they are at the point where they are trying to kill you, there is evidence. I don't think I don't see why you would try and assault them without sufficient proof on your own part. I think we we are past the point of uh, of needing proof if there is a battle in the streets. Of course. And what if they uh, decide to take uh, the uh, easy way out? I beg your pardon. What, what if they way? decide that they don't want to? be imprisoned or have to seek justice or have potentially any secrets they have be told and if they realize that they are being detained find a way to end it for themselves will that also that count as them. us not being able to kill, uh, keep them alive we have a cleric um, but just generally speaking you cannot them. revive someone without their consent they, the spirit has to be willing to return but 
in which case we do have magics to speak with the body to 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 gain some information if they I take... just wanted to make sure if they decide to do that if Merc will still be imprisoned as the same as well, if we I, had I killed imagine them imagine if you are in if you are in Proxia's home estate where this is all deigned to happen there will be witnesses so mm. that's the goal right that's the goal uh, unfortunately we can't no, mind you, if you if you get evidence enough, I I can clear lethal force. It's just right now, it yes. would just look like a murder sure. of a senator. Um, can we kill the witnesses though? Are they free game? Shit. No. That no. was a rhetorical that, question, of course. She was. That was actually Rania. a joke. <laughs> yeah, the money got it. She do, she has a very horrible right. sense of humor. Aww. So I'm not familiar with that's so cool. Uh, Kingfishers, and yes. this is my first time dealing with you as a company. It's fine. We, we didn't really consider ourselves a company with a hierarchy until very recently, so... Yes, for legal purposes, to act as undertaking uh, jobs. And as part of that, I do wish to extend an apology for our actions yesterday uh, for acting without jurisdiction. That's all right. Um, no, no harm, no foul, so to speak. No one was hurt, no one... Um, and considering <laughs> no the case citizens that... of my kingdom were, were found dead basically. Yeah, <laughs> exactly exactly <laughs> um, but there is um, normally there is fines for such things but seeing as the matter of the urgency of the situation they have been waived in your favour do we appreciate have, that do well, we have you. like a job written thing from the, the library or was that, am I just making that up I thought we had we like... don't have a writ from them now no, but you are about to get a writ of like warrant for mm. Arthas says You are going to get a writ for a warrant for so Boxer many writs. Say. Yeah, crumple it up there in the bottom of Betsy. God damn, yeah, <laughs> like writ on these balls. Like I don't, I don't get this. This is all out of character. No, that's in character, baby. <laughs> Kate. Mine was out of character. <laughs> so if there is. If there's anything we can do to assist you in this investigation, um, uh, Prior is going to be your point of order to me. Um, there is one thing that we need to make sure is clarified in writing in whatever way it needs to be. All right. The writings that Arthas has stolen, those have to come back with us so that they can be returned to the library. Absolutely. Um, Without people that... copying or reading them. Well, if that is the the mission you originally sent on by the archives of Arasandra, that that does not, it is not stolen from us. It is not ours to lay claim to. Um, albeit there is an interest, um, we have discussed this with some of the senators in charge of the Ojiki Library. We are willing to offer you, if you find the text fully intact, twenty five thousand gold pieces for it. Understandable. Mm -hmm. Right. Right. Noted. It's strictly business. <laughs> yes. We do not have any connections to the archives. Our own library keeps such dangerous information, and if it was stolen from them, we believe perhaps it would be better to be within our hands, where stuff is less likely to get stolen from our point of view. Perhaps it is our okay. own bias, but is it? Well, Consider it. You are very safe place indeed. Your senator died like two weeks ago, and no one bad to I, So not in the library. That's true. You got me there. <laughs> right. Um, is, was <laughs> there any other? Was there any other business that? Um, no, unless you have any more information for me, um, I can. I can give you. A... We can all leave. Um, if you wish to give me any more information or if there's anything else you need written, if there's areas you think you need to investigate, we can get warrants issued for them. But mm, thank you. Um, we wish to work amicably with this, um, but I mm -hmm. think this goes without saying, if you are investigating a senator, the utmost diligence in decorum and as quiet as you can be in these matters. Of course, I understand. Why <laughs> I can better abide by the decorum for the sake of the entire group. <laughs> Looks very kindly over at Rainier. 
<laughs> Rainiac's I'm, shocked, like, what? <laughs> I'm well versed in acting with decorum and subtlety. That's true, he's had years of such matters. Subtlety is, uh, um, because publicly speaking, unless you have proof, we are not working with you, and we will publicly have to, you know, if you attack yes, someone. And we are course. not working with you! Correct. And come on, let's naturally, just like decorum. naturally, you would not want it to be public information that a senator is under investigation of this sort of thing. No, that should not be something that comes to light. But no. if everything goes well, we have good working relationships, you may put yourself on the map of mercenary companies we wish to work with in the future. There was a few uh, suggestions of others to work with, but seeing as you're the ones that brought this information, it is a... Uh, Solely your right. job for now. Are there any within Ojuk here that have close connections to Proxia that we should perhaps avoid? I believe um, there is a mercenary company in Ondra that has been hired many times by Proxia called the Shadow Paradox, a very well respected right. organization. One of the larger mercenary companies that has worked a few times, uh, hired in conjunction with the military for various incursions and training exercises. Mm -hmm. Um, so perhaps oh, you, you do little information between your information with Roxia and the the Shadow Paradox. Yeah, perhaps an arm's length. They are a very well reputable mercenary company, but we don't mm -hmm. know or see any roots of sedition. Sedition. But Fine, sedition. the safe bet is to keep your cards close to your chest and work with subtlety. Understood. Is there anything else? I think we're good. Shit, we need to go get Anna. <laughs> <laughs> Anna's just I having a full have... fry up for breakfast, being like. <laughs> Excuse me. Meanwhile, we're dealing with bureaucracy. <laughs> What a perfect day um, to yeah, sleep that's... in on. Zamani, uh, not, uh, Anna's just eating a bowl of porridge over the kitchen table. Yeah, great vacation for Anna. Um, I do have yeah. something, though. Uh, obviously, for the sake of tracking, we do need these. Um, nothing too severe. Um, can we just have a small a small trimming of your hair, my guess, as captain? If, if we say if we need to arrest you, we do need to know how to find you. <laughs> They're chipping okay, okay. you, my guy. As As she says this, Am I detecting any malicious need for yeah, this hair? Because that shit's and no, like. Just, uh, roll, can roll I inside. roll? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, that's a natural nineteen plus nine. Okay. For like, you feel that this is all enough. for the leaders of the mercenary companies. This is all standard fare. If they want, if they okay. like, it's probably a part of the paperwork to have. In case a mercenary company acts out a person to blame so they can quickly cover it up and it's uh your name got put down. So it's this is all standard procedure for them. Alright, um Merc will like go towards her head and then realize that like there's been a patch of fluff that's just been hanging loose on her leg for ages and just goes Pfft. There you go. Like literally just like molting, basically. <laughs> Gross. It's disgusting. Yeah. Okay, Featherhead. Mine are <laughs> brand new every time. They come off every time, too. Ah, uh, no one sees them under the blood. It's fine. <laughs> Perfect. Um, well, yeah, hopefully we don't need to track you down, but if... Yeah, this is all for everybody's protection. Hmm. Of, of course. Yeah. No. Yeah. All right. Um, you want me to leave? Thanks. Thank you. A pleasure to meet you. We pleasure. take the warrants and we go find Anna. <laughs> uh, mm -hmm. After we're like a good distance away out of the hoity toity neighborhood and all of that, so I was just like, I fucking, I hate, I hate it. I want to kill him. Yeah. This is all for everybody's safety. Fuck that. Yeah, they're yeah, stinkers. I mean... That's for maintaining the, the currently established system to make sure they have a fall guy if shit goes wrong. Uh, it's a Cal, 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 Cal just walking just yeah. <laughs> I mean, don't speak don't bring attention to yourself <laughs> yeah if she was if she was rude at any point that hair would have come from other places oh, oh. don't don't I think 
All things considered, Weird flex, but okay. rather smoothly. Not <laughs> rather smoothly, yeah. actually. Yeah. Definitely. I mean, yeah, it went smoothly, except for the fact that she's got a mile long stick shoved up her ass. She wasn't even a mile Didn't tall. Seems so bad. <laughs> That's because they're used to dealing with them being these kind of people. <laughs> mm, and I must say, she's not bad compared to a lot of them. So. Let's Could find Anna, walking? please, I beg. Oh, this is where we're walking. Nice. There's a smell <laughs> yeah. of fried sausage, bacon, and egg. Packed of browns and puddles. Nice. Knock on the door. No. Can I yoink some? Yeah, you knock on the door. It just kind of, like, lazily slides open. Anna's mom doesn't care to lock her door sometimes. <laughs> just... Or make sure it's latched. Yeah. 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 You walk in. Anna is Good morning. still in PJs, maybe. <laughs> Having breakfast. Uh, yeah, I guess. Orange <laughs> juice are plenty. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, what a fashion statement, Anna. That's it, I mean, just, I had it lying around, so it's comfortable. <laughs> well, are you all going to stand there? Are you going to eat? Oh, I'd love to. Thank you. <laughs> uh, sure. We we clue Anna in with as little detail as possible. All right, go exactly, exactly. Tell me exactly how much you tell me. Do you want it. that? Do you exactly want that? Every single no, fucking please. little detail you do. Oh God no. <laughs> so do you want that, Kate? <laughs> so in a I've been paying now, attention for the past four hours. Um, we're no. an official mercenary <laughs> company. Um, we met up with a hoity-toity, very well-kept lion lady. Um. Uh, so now, if we fail, or if we don't get enough information, or if we kill the guy without getting any information, uh, Mark's going to jail. So that's fun. Yeah, that's wild. As I was informed of this before you guys did it, that's really fucking great. Um, uh, well, we didn't job. really know, to be fair. It was just, hey, the ghost asked us to report to the the lawmaster guy, and then the lawmaster put us in the books, and then Merc was like, oh, hey, I, I can be I, the leader. And I lived then, in the city for most of my life, and you have to sign stuff for that sort of thing. You had to have known you, at some point that you're doing it. You dimension doored away before we could okay yes, it with you. Because she was, if I didn't get there before sundown, like I did. <laughs> well, <laughs> Anna, did you, write, did you write a contract up? Did you sign a contract with your mom about this? Rainier, that's funny. I like Rainier that. kind of has a point, but also <laughs> she's my mum and she'll kick my ass. Yeah. Anyway, it's it's for it's for your benefit that you weren't there. The entire ordeal sucked complete ass. It was you know, actually I'm not pretty surprised awful. at all. The bureaucracy mm. shit is boring, and honestly, it's, it should be abolished if I'm being honest with it's everybody here. It's I mean, we've been offered quite a lot of money to complete these jobs, which is very good. Okay, We've also been offered quite a lot money of money to betray I don't really, the library, which is I don't really give a absolute. fuck about the money. I don't really want to be a part of a government-run organization. Neither do we, but we have to yeah, get no. a book back. We don't have to do anything. If we want the information, then we do. Yeah, sure. Okay. Let's go to the tavern. I, my sexy broom is there. That's hey. true. John Vere did send us yes. a, a letter. I haven't um, finished breakfast. Is she still grounded? I look over <laughs> at the moment. No, home. she's done her time. Whilst they're all discussing um, this, Kalsa's going to open his book, flip to Kelsia's page, and just write in it. I hope you're doing all right, Kelsia, as much as you can be. I, I can understand needing time to yourself, but just know that we're here for you in whatever way we can help. Whenever you're ready to talk to us. So, you get a response. He says... I'm only responding so you know I'm okay, but I don't wish to speak. Understood. Take your time. Cool. Nom 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 nom. <laughs> nice poly work. <laughs> Let's head to meet John here. Understand, yeah. You did not just give us shit for not 
taking you with and then staying <laughs> yeah. again. You yeah. absolute Anna, nerd. Anna does not like the fact that she got dragged into this fucking government organization. She's going to stay here, eat her fucking breakfast, and she's going to have a good day. Right, okay. I, will, I will clarify, it's not a government organization, just all mercenary companies yeah. need to be on record. It's not yeah, run no, by the she government. Doesn't, she doesn't like anything like that. Doesn't she like very very anti government. <laughs> anything that has to be associated with the government in any way, sort of, shape or form, she's like, no, fuck that. Okay, but okay. She's, my question then at that point, we have been associated with the government of Burton. She doesn't like it. She hasn't. She does not like a single bit of it. But this okay. is this is a I point have, in time where we had an option. <laughs> option to she's go just, to jail for unlawfully going into someone's house. Yeah, she we didn't really have to, an option. She is going to stay here. She's going to eat breakfast. And okay, she's going I, to if enjoy she the day. does, she say no? I'm staying here. I'm not going with you yes, guys because if so, cool, is, we're having a conversation. Then. Oh no! You what got you yourself mean? into this. What do you mean, Anna? You don't want to go with us anymore? I am staying here. I'm having my breakfast. I'm having breakfast with my mother, who I haven't seen okay. for f four years plus. Okay, I, I don't mean this to be rude or anything, but I mean, you left your mom to go with us while you were grounded, and now you are not grounded, and we kind of need you, and you don't want to come. From my understanding, you do not need me yet. We're still in the city. We're not leaving yet, are we? Well, I mean, we also are doing business as a group with Jornvir. We, I mean, we've done everything as much as we can as a group this entire time. You don't, I do not believe you need me. You are still in the city. When we leave the city, I'm happy to rejoin. Yep, fine. She gets up. She's like, thank you for the breakfast. She's going to leave. Okay. Well, you're welcome. Right. Right. Mm -hmm. So as you all leave, Anna, your mum sits down next to you. Well, now what was that all for? Why are you sad with your <laughs> friends? I was not happy with this arrangement I was not a part of. I wanted to finish my breakfast. There's still a lot to eat. You made a lot for two people, by the way. You're growing. You'll be fine. Your name's not on any of that paperwork. You didn't sign anything. Sure, there's no record of you. I never registered you. <laughs> it's not what they did the point. It doesn't sound like they did it to upset you, though. You're right, they probably didn't, but... They knew where I was. If they really wanted to, they could have come and told me. I could have voiced my feelings then. Hey, yeah. You're not wrong. But by the sense of it, they really do want you. It's good to have people that care for you. Enjoy your breakfast. I'm not saying you have to go anywhere. I want you here as long as I get you. But Mother, you have people that want yesterday. you. Sir. It's nice to be if they need. If they need me, they know where they, how they can contact me. Just enjoy your breakfast. You don't have to... You don't have to do anything you don't want to do. Who knows what Michael looks? <laughs> do you want seconds? Absolutely, yes. <laughs> so, as the rest of the group makes their way to Jarnvir in the uh, yes. name, the where is it going? Not the tipsy topsy tankers. The um, morning, the brew. morning brew. Morning brew. <laughs> Same area. You find going to the basement. Jarnvir is kind of set up there. There appears to be. He's in the process of getting, like, that mirror, like, packed up. He's putting it into an extra-dimensional space now that he no longer needs this meeting area for you all. John? On the way, Zamani is visibly grumpy. <laughs> well, um... You're all here. That's, uh... Is your friend Anna not coming? No, she's seen to some business of her own. 
Well, we we can delay this if you need. This is uh, pertinent to my plans moving forward for us all. Right. Um, from the sounds of things, she said to just fill her in on what happened. So I think it we can't, can proceed. It can't be helped. It can't be helped. Um, well, the first things first, I do have a broom for you, Rainy. Does it have hey, a name? Let's go. I, I've never deigned to name my magic <laughs> items. I will name it. Nice. Up, broom. Right. And she stands there like, <laughs> uh, I just want to say, I think you, you need to know the uh, the word. <laughs> Shit, a... It's not up. <laughs> God damn it. The Harry Potter lied to me. Um, doesn't require attunement, though. Um, oh, it doesn't require attunement. That's awesome. There is a moment. I do not like to stay anywhere for too long. Um, so I will be leaving Ojikir, making my way back to my tower and keeping on the move as much as I can. I do have ideas. My main concern right now is finding and developing that I've been working on in the hopes that this this all works well with us is to develop a means to completely sever you from the sleeping bloodline. Make it impossible yes. to regain connection. And if you all work as test subjects for this call it plainly I'm aware of a few other groups that should still be under the Sleeping Bloodline. A few agents that are out there in the world that we can possibly yes. get ahead of to stop. Stop well, various things. I did actually have a question for you on that note. Is there a means of us being able to see or detect if someone is under the Sleeping Bloodline, either if it's inert or active? The only people that I've ever been aware that have that capability, and I wasn't aware of it until it happened, was the... Like, the Jorah King? The Jorah King. Right. Okay. Well, that's something as well to look into, I guess, if we can. Um, but what are your ideas at this stage? Or... There is... There is methods to to sever these things. I hope it's theory mostly for now. It f fully pulls off the back of the response to the sleeping bloodline that our agent in Mount Dondi had when in contact with a shard of the dying god. Um, a snap in the psyche or snapped out of the out of the means of connection and the also the zapper stone had an effect that weakened it a lot until it fully severed so we have right. two approaches that I can think of there is something that can interfere with so much magic but getting that much zapper stone and using it to fully sever the connection is Unknown so far. The other idea I have is to do with something similar to the the Shard of the Dying God. It is a piece of a great old one. So there is a disease. Sub, history calls it something akin to God Blight. It's some form of over oversaturation of magic. And if you think of the connection of the Sleeping Bloodline as a point of connection, a point of energy being passed back and forth to completely overload and explode that connection, the risk of death is not none. But if we could put you, perhaps you... I'm, this is Des now trying to reach. Did you mention the Lake Head Spire stuff to him? No, I don't think we did. We haven't, okay. no. We haven't. Okay. Right. Within the middle of Lake Head Spire, there is a 
great old god specifically known as the Eye of Ruin. Uh, a monastery there. They seek isolation. But perhaps if we can figure out what I will be figuring out now for a while is a way to gain you audience, perhaps with this old god. If you can beseech it to appear to you in a true nature, an eldritch abomination that it would be, it would perhaps sever completely the connection. Right. Potentially, I know this may be a stretch, but to leverage my own position and I guess mission as a means of at least attempting to gain audience. I think it's dangerous to work when you could still be still be taken over. So this is why I, this is one of my plans. And if we can figure out if we can go there and I can watch what happens, maybe I can find a way to in a lesser extent, unless I have I was not even in the same area as you when you all walked through. So I, I have yet to actually witness what happens when someone gets severed from the sleeping bloodline. I, I don't I lack data. Uh, I mean, we we can't show you, but we can tell you what Viola saw. The eyes of Azure Hakeen were very different to that of mine own. Oh, I, I completely understand that, but it's better than nothing, right? It is better than nothing, but I... My, my judgment... Uh, so I, I am aware of what Viola said. I was not quite ousted until a couple of days after you were all... Okay. I am aware from my point, but it's not something that I, with my knowledge of magic or ways of tracking it, can replicate. Right. I'm capable of many, One... many wondrous things. But... No. Right. When last we um... spoke, something uh, I thought on your plan about getting us into the uh, world below to the Empire of the Ghouls. What is to stop Samael from taking control of your teleportation magic again, as he did when he grabbed you and took you to an Undaria Isles? I'm not affected by the same means of sleeping bloodline, but that is not to say that I do not have my own special thread attached to Samael. It is part in selfishness that I wish to observe the nature of your severing fully that I hope to re replicate with hopefully an easier path with my own so we can sever any ties. I am also looking into items that I could possibly craft that could stop outside influences. I am not a man of faith, so I cannot pray to his enemies for help in this. I only must rely on my own skill, and that skill has got me quite far in life. Go ahead. Based off of what he's saying, Des, would it be a stretch for Calcindia to figure, using his, like, his knowledge of everything else and his knowledge of arcane and stuff, would it be a stretch for him to imagine that, for him at least, claiming a shard may sever the Sleeping Bloodline connection? Or would that not quite be enough? It may, but you don't know if it would for everybody in your group. Right, yeah. Because okay. also, if it's the same, like, there was a, like, from the story you were told of the other one, they were carrying that shard with them for a while, and then it snapped. It seemed to be like, while it gives off uh, magic for a while, it seemed to be like they were slowly but surely saturated with it that then caused the snap. Right. It's only one okay. of Jarnvir's theories as well. It's not, like, this is not his, like, he does not know perfect knowledge, so he... He has yet to see, and he knows Sapperstone doesn't sever it completely constantly. No. He only he knows that okay. did that was a, far, a shard of an old god, and he knows where a mm -hmm. whole old god is. Um, well, that's old god. That's this was this dangerous. was super old time ago, but uh, the thing we did at the priory was that not sufficient? We didn't sever what the connection. We oh, just we just it. checked no. if it was active. Yeah, we just checked yeah. that. Yeah. Okay. And it was. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, it wasn't. 
wasn't it? Wasn't it? Because it wasn't active. It it he didn't see anything, and we're like, okay, cool. Oh yeah, he. Sorry, I was thinking active as in he was still controlling her. Mm, no. no, no. So basically, no, 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 no. all of you guys, the way this thing works is you can be taken over, and it hopefully lasts until you die. But Samuel's working on a new way to have it kind of like trigger on mm-hmm. off like a switch when he wants it. You seem to have been a success right. in that department. Yeah. So, hey, success is one thing. While it's no one so far, even Viola, she she didn't see a string. It only appears that the string that she saw connecting you was active when you were actively being used. And Jarnvir has a theory that the reason it's not being activated again is because it's kind of like fun cat and mouse for Samael, but also for a fact that it could just pop you like like a a, a tick that's absorbed too much blood and just over like maybe there's right. a cooldown. You're not sure that like there's too much theory right now for it. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Jarnvir just doesn't know enough. Yeah. Jarnvir. I do have one question for you. What were we doing in Bellarm? What did we do there? What did we do, Jorinvir? You... You helped me in the mission. Do we have the details of that? His eyes are kind of on that. Uh, Calisina, so he'll take like two steps back. You helped me break into a yacht and hold to secure a shard of the Dying God. So another shard. So what does that make three no, at this that point? Was no, that shard. was the shard that we used for oh, the... Oh, the shard. Okay, that's now mm. at... And he is very time. ready. He's like... On the cusp of being ready, like character spell something for Callus in he's like, Yeah, Cal is idea. twitching. Yeah, yeah. he sees this. He didn't want to answer, but he's also in a situation where he's like, Well, shit. I put a hand on Cal's shoulder. Just to kind of, if, if he was like getting lost in his thoughts, just to kind of like bring him back. No, not even you. He's just, just dead stare <laughs> with black eyes, just staring straight at Jorinvir. But thank you for telling us the truth. Merc is like, speaking as if she's like you know midway through defusing a bomb or something just like yeah there is like a tension in mediator the like, you know jordan feels zero he's very rainy he feels zero or more as he did what he had to do but he also knows that this is like the biggest offense he could do to callus in here yeah but also just because he went along with it and we were being controlled by Samaya with the sleeping bloodline that doesn't really put 100% at least fault on Jordan Bear. Don't forget who caused this. Well, I haven't forgotten that at all. No, but you're doing that scary, oh, I, I have the intent to murder vibe I going on. And I'm, I understand like, the offense, but there is much more to be gained by us working together than if we start another squabble between us. That would be what Samael would want, would it not? John Vier, I do not need you to try and flatter me or give me some form of platitudes in this situation. I understand entirely, and that is why I have done nothing. We have an accord, so to speak. So I think now on the tally, that's two people who wish to break your nose after this is all done. Who's, wait, who's the other tally? Real quick. <laughs> me oh, for touching oh, Kiana the, yeah the Kiana <laughs> I mean an enemy of an enemy is a friend maybe not long term as the saying would go either way so you know, I think bright sides I know where to get you another shot And at least either way, we also have learned much more in the past two days than we've learned in the past month, uh, probably. That is also not what I mean. Everything passes amicably. I had to research where to find shards, and that was the easiest one for me to get. Ah, so you mean that you know where others are? I know where another is. And I know the defenses. Okay. 
I learned something from my time with Samuel, and that is I at least need something to keep my assurances. We need to have a peaceful working relationship. Okay. Answer me this, Jarvia. <laughs> Did Samuel come into the possession of the shard, and was it purely handled through your hands? It was not gone through his hands, if that's what you need to know. I, I very rarely interacted with Samael as a face-to-face -face basis, only when it was absolutely necessary. Was anything done to the shard? I had no means to... I had no means to study it, even in the time I would have wished to. It was a quick plan. Not to say I got no data from it, but... Samael never touched it. And I didn't do any magics to it that could alter its essence. I do not wish to make an enemy of another god. Or saint. Very well. Speaking of... Me, slightly not... adjacent. Sorry. No, go ahead. Uh, slightly adjacent to that. Yeah, that's fair. Um, now a selfish selfish question from me um the flowers for the fallen zegolia's staff do you know its current location it i believe it. samuel has it Close that was to nothing me, to do it. with me yes no that was we, we have befriended the wife of the person who he had do that and she's in the city i i must admit that that particular mission and those particular sleeping bloodlines were not many of Samael's lieutenants manage various agents that were under you know monitored and helped pass through things that was not through me how many okay. of these agents are there more that we should be aware of there are more than I am aware of I, I know a few we were all not to know of each other's existence in full magnitude because that if one of us fell then information falls between many i knew i have a question that. you mentioned that there are groups currently under the sleeping bloodline right correct you know of them um and you want us to try and get out of it using the dubious honor of seeing an eldritch monstrosity transform before our eyes do we want to like get a herd of people like us and all go on this cool excursion that is a, a possibility, I suppose, but if they are currently... It depends if the Sleeping Bloodline has been activated within them. If they are currently active, mm -hmm. then you are just... revealing some of our plan to Samael. Is there a way for us to tell? Mm. It, that mm -hmm. is something I'm looking to develop a means to do. If you do, then it, it would help us greatly add to our possible allies. What's what's that on our timeline? How does how does it look for us? Right now, we are within uh, within the end of summer. We have the date I wish to go into is the end of Rathiel. So we have almost three full months. I would like us to make our way to the middle of Lake Hetspire by. Preferably the end of Yorondal, but or the start of the at the latest. Right. For that point, the big things that we need to do, so that we're on the same page, I guess. We have to return. We have to finish the the quest or whatever to get the book. Return it to the library so that we can get more information on Semaya through that, if possible. We also are looking to help. Um, Everard with his tr trial quest? Trials. Trials. The first one being the trial of the... In the hopes the of Ender. keeping the region together. Yes. So that would also be going to the Everett, a few magics. His mother taught him the art of blade singing, which is not... The wizardry of it comes similar nature to mine, so I can at least... I at least help with that. Everett is an anxious man who struggles under pressure i would be concerned for him there but i believe if everything was going the way the talks happened with the original time when he was thinking of partaking it would be the end of the year towards votes the deal if his plan has not changed since i that's knew good. it that's good right we plan on contacting uh, him soon to see if 
things have changed and to offer him our aid. I assume he yeah. knows if you are all intent to meet me. Uh, no. Mm -hmm. Honestly, we didn't I don't tell remember. Yes, we, we, we did. did actually. We told you. just we didn't did. tell him information of how. Yeah. 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 yeah we just said right. that we would and we would let him know. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Um. Mm -hmm. Des, completely yes. random question. Like, completely, this is so far out of the blue that you might get whiplash. Um, okay, let's see it. The holy days of the gods. Do they, like, is it a time when each god is more powerful because of the increased worship? Yeah, so there would be a little bit of, like, influx of power as they get, like, obviously many people celebrating their festivals, they would get a little bit of yeah. a uptick in power. Okay, cool. Because the only one between now and when we're entering the keep is Les Africans, the Festival of Flashes. Yep. Just because, yeah, just if... Uh, no, there's also... Oh, sorry, between the temple and that, yeah, but there's also between now and everything, there is Selelia's, uh the Fire Sky Dance on the 11th. Yeah, the 11th there, there is that, yes. Yep. Um, but yeah, just so that I know if that could be a more poggy time for gods. Cool. That's a good idea. Awesome. Not a bad idea, actually. Mm. Um, I will tell you this much. I anticipate to be in the possession of a shard sometime relatively soon. If it does seem to have an effect on the sleeping bloodline on me, I will let you know. I'd be very curious to see you carry it, as your connection is quite well noted I would like to see the effect on you I think there would be much to be gained in research on that should you trust me enough to do so which I doubt you do but the offer is there understood may I ask I did also have you're going for I may know little of it can I insight check him there just you can see. insight check him yeah, you, yeah. You're, legally speaking you can insight anybody you'd like <laughs> legally speaking um that is a 17. um there is like a general just like like curious like he is a man of study and there is like a curious and like this thing of like there's an intent where he's he's trying to make amends like as much as he can yeah. to try and like build relations so there seems to be a genuine offer of like help you've studied quite extensively into it from the sounds of things or rather far more so than anyone else on the surface Yes. So you know of the Star Elven ruins to the north, uh, northeast in the Zazan? Yes, I do know of that one. Um, I would recommend against it, personally speaking. Why is that? Um, it was... How would I put it? I chose to go to Yotam Territory over that one. And what Why? informed that decision? Um, predominantly the guardian within. There What's was, that? um. Oh, sorry, I just need to double check something. I, I want to make sure he's room for me. Same thing. It's a giant squirrel with laser beams. Oh no! <laughs> oh damn, that oh, is powerful. Oh shit. I think that's actually, I'm actually a ranger, that's my favorite enemy. Sorry. So, names. Um, I just, I know the shorthand, Raph, can you just message me the full name of this? Uh... <laughs> Giving Raph information that the Raph, Raph only no, I know the shorthand. <laughs> can you give me the full You're name? Fucking... I, I think I have it, I just don't want to butcher it. Um, it's like, I think, yeah, it's alright, I think that's um, right. Yeah, it is. There was a If it's not, it's about starless... to be canon. There was a starless within there that seemed to have access to a shard uh, by the name of Irozilic, a very, very dangerous man. Ah, oh, that guy. Is that the guy I, who I saw in the vision killing people is, in the yeah. temple? Oh, yeah. that's yeah. where he went. Yeah. I see. That's also Raph's like, just... great uncle. Uh, yeah, I was going to say. Oh, yeah, we talked about this. Most... I don't think. Did you can mention any character? Yeah. I don't yeah, think, yep. did he? Because we, oh, he yeah, did? Yeah, that's weird. Oh, because we made you. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> For once, Cal, yeah. look at this. He is hey, a Cal. very. I do believe. There was 
by my research, a, a shard there is based on the the guardian within who has laid claim to it and uses it. Right. Just a family it's, get together. Yeah. Yes, that is my dear uncle himself. And he is He's praised with power. I believe what the disease known as God Blight has fully affected his mind. He sees everything that approached as an enemy, but fair enough, I was. Um. So you interacted with him to some degree? No, I saw the danger that posed within there and immediately left. Right. But to some degree, yes. I I did not get within a within a mile of the the tower before I started being scried upon and various spells raining from the heavens down on me. Spells that no mortal should really be able to cast at that range. So there are, there are be effects. I think he is harnessing the power of the shard to nefarious. Nefarious er purposes than I. Nefarious er. I mean, it's also I like not the only reasons. one we know about. It is not, but is the one that we will head for. Hmm. Yes, sir. Um, <laughs> would it be a massive jump to read that as there are like regional effects? Yeah, surrounding that is this the tower? mechanical but, idea of that. Almost a layer-like <laughs> activity, you could say. I, I, mm. I, I wasn't sure if that was being like meta as fuck or not. But I, magical traps is, and. Things. He I tried to reason person. with him, but there is no. a very little reasoning that could go through. It was a lot of, uh, to be frank, a lot of name calling as I got close. <laughs> He's a he bully. Was last, <laughs> he was the last person that attempted to walk upon the path that I am currently set upon. And oh, seems to be a similar attack. As of yet. <sighs> Um, is he racist? <laughs> he did call me a half breed quite a few times. Oh, great! Yeah, we can we can practice uh, practice on Seba. Wait, what? Yeah. Um. Right. That should be an interesting confrontation. However, I have no doubt that was. the dying god has turned against him in his madness. And his ill use of a shard. As, like, you know, a, a filthy surface dweller, all that, whatever, yada, yada. Isn't he. I mean, based on, like, the shattering of reality that I had to deal with at the time, he doesn't quite seem all put together himself. So, why would he turn against a guy who's also very not put together? Who only became because brain crazy? He has abandoned. Because... Sorry. Is it money? No, 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 you're fine. Go ahead. Because he has completely abandoned. His purpose, his mission is left, and now he is using it purely for his own gain. Whether that's through the madness that has taken hold of him. Wait, what well, did your god no do longer... something about it? Not in his uh, current state. Wait, Cal, you said for his own gain. What is his gain? Like, what is he doing in there? Do you know? I don't know. Full of our counts. Playing with his shards. <laughs> Playing with his shards. For all of our accounts, he disappeared off the off the map completely. Even before I was born, he disappeared. It is within my research and knowledge that there was a from accounts of people near that area. There was sites of a more sane Erosilic heading to Inish Hale in the first part to get the shard, and then a, a lapse in psyche after i believe the shard right. was in there and now with his fractured mind he has retreated to a place that was arguably the most important in his life to guard what he saw that would be an interesting confrontation are you aware of a stylus or rather style and set of ruins at the Erosphere cliffside. Yeah, that's where we just sent him. Yeah. I, uh, yeah, no, that. but in terms of, like, the actual ruins themselves, like, oh, okay. stuff within that. 
it, that is what led me originally to uh, to Inishale. Was I thought that was an area to get my first when I went to find a shard. That was hmm. an area of ruins. I checked many ruins. How did you? Arms. How did you bypass the guardian? Um, I banished it for a small time. <laughs> that is a solution. I'm just really curious, curious because I was able to walk past being of my plant. Humble brag. Um, so no, I was merely interested in that. And no doubt you read the uh, the prophecy of sorts that was there. That is an old elder shrug. It took me a few minutes to... Yeah, I wrote it it's down easy. I left and did not, you know. But in a shale was... The tough one to find, as I was not aware of its location, so I had to find that. I can decay board, meanwhile, so yeah, it's over there. I can go for it, guys. Go fish. Um, right. And that's what led me to Manishael, and that's when I found the Guardian within. I tried to reason with him. I, at the bare minimum, got him to identify himself through deceit. <laughs> but then... I figured breaking into a old yacht and hold that was less defended was uh, a little easier. Also, I did not know what I mean, the interaction is... between uh, Starless and Starless could bring up, perhaps, if there was a connection. I did not wish to ban that flame hmm. on Justin. I would still very much like to try one in a shale. Unless you know of one that we can just breeze on into and claim and then leave within the span of a few hours, which I doubt it. No, I don't think any of them have a breeze on in and claim within a few hours. It's the closest to where we are. There is... Mm -hmm. I, I saw, but could not find an entrance, there is something in the Zephyrkin Bay akin to Indeed it. there is. Although I did not find an entrance. I felt its presence, as did, I think, we all did in that moment. I do have and a... Roughly idea that perhaps it is something to do with the sunken crown of Burton. I have a feeling they are connected, but that is just a scholarly guess. What is the sunken crown of Burton? Considering Calcindy nice. read some uh, books about the history no, so of you, re you remember a little bit, um, it's it's part of the prophecy for one of the three tasks that the, the king that will unite Burton and Marvin. Yes. Right! Fuck, that's yeah, real that's old right. shit. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah. But this is very good with us helping uh, this dude. We yes. can like go in together. Like, exactly. Oh, we're helping, we're helping. Beautiful Meanwhile, one. we'll be looking. <laughs> mm -hmm. yeah. But okay. through my studies, I could not find anything specific. Right. Now we would also need a way to be able to more easily traverse and probably breathe underwater to get that one. That is an acquired skill. Hmm. <laughs> Well, I imagine if we do proceed with aiding Everett, then that will come to us. Perhaps. Yeah. I mean, there's plenty of druids in uh, yes. Zegolia's embrace. The writer, yeah. That's actually a good point. Well, maybe Asta has the capabilities, actually. Speaking of, it's been like two days since she said she was heading off. We should probably yeah. be sending her. Yeah, I'll send her a message after this. Thank you. What you I was going to ask last night, but you had like four different things to do, so. I have made you aware. I appreciate so that. I, I wish to now know what does our timeline look like? What is your next steps? You you plan to leave for Onderall? Actually, I wish to ask you do you know, I can't remember if anyone actually asked this, do you know of a man named Arthur Zexel? I do not. That's fair. Right. Okay. That he acquired. Well, rather, he stole, broke into the archives of Arasandra, stole a Powerful. tome of sorts from the land of sleepless dreams, which he is using ultimately to possess people through the land of sleepless dreams. Now, we have been tasked with finding him, and our clues have taken us to Senator Proxia, who we believe has been possessed. I know. I... I am afraid I cannot help you with this. I have not been in Osha Kira in many, many years, working from within Burton. Uh, right, of course. Even this current senator is lacking at best, and 
faltering at worst. You were asking about However, our timeline. This is just yes. this is what is on our timeline. Mm-hmm. Upon completion of that, we will gain archi- uh, access to the archives, which would gain us more knowledge into things such as the Soul Anchors, now that we know them. That would be beneficial. Um, so, and then after that, considering the distance and the proximity of where we would be, I would be very much wanting to ideally head up towards Inner Chair. Right, so let me assume ballpark dates, so to speak. You get to Onderall, that is less than a week's travel from here, I believe. Mm-hmm. All up, I think your travel to Inish Hale should be, I think, about... I'm just going to double check, because he would he would know this. Yeah, three... About ten days to Matanam, and then a journey up to Inish Hale. Let's say we account for... We are the 26th of Perkinel right now. If we... Yeah. If we aimed to reconvene to look to get to to look to get to Lake Hetspire uh, by the first of Yarond, all that gives time to even return, and perhaps even if you get through time to Inishale early, you could even make your way to. Depending on your access to <clears throat> quick magics, you could even make your way to the archives. We could. Honestly, travel on is the is the biggest bane of our existence mm-hmm. is that we don't have any way to move from one place to another more quickly except for with teleportation rings which are very limited right now well yeah if it's a uh, it can't be helped he will produce a scroll this is a teleportation circle one cast. This is to the circle, I believe, back in Burton. That's something Ooh. we can copy and duplicate? Hopefully. No, you already know that teleportation circle. Yeah. So. Okay. But we no, don't but do we know, just do we know the spell? Oh, this is so a this spell, is, so is a spell slot. This, like, is, this yeah. is so we don't scroll. need to have a. a but we with have us. to have a spell teleportation circle. We just On your don't need no. a spell slot. Yeah. No, like, so, this is the spell scroll of teleportation circles with pre inscribed uh That's that's what I'm asking. Yeah. Can can we yeah. transcribe this spell and be able to use it again in the future? Like if it's Calvary, not a no, none of you are wizards. We don't have an aura. It's not a, I can I can only transcribe ritual spells. Okay. Um also you guys would know that once every three weeks, if I'm lucky, I get access to teleportation circle as an arcana <laughs> domain. That's funny. Ooh. It's just never lined up. It's yeah. never been something that we've needed um, at the time. Yeah, that's the point. Yeah. Um, In other matters, right. I am loath to give it out, but I have cleared most of the important stuff out. He starts inscribing, he gets a piece of parchment, he starts drawing a teleportation circle. This is from my tower in Kern. Do yeah. not mess anything up. I am very particular about where I keep everything. I have wards yes. in there that will know if you show up. Okay. Don't touch my stuff. Right. Okay. So now, for all, just to, to know, make Burton, sure. So, Kern, you know, well, yeah. one time sound. use. Burton, no, no, this, no, is no. The, this is ah, the scroll. Okay. This is a sigil. So you, once you know the yeah. sigil, as long as you have the spell, you can get there. Okay. Yeah. Which, Which we do once every three weeks. Circle is on the warlock spell list, so on the next level, yes. someone can get it. Um, look, yeah. Cal has a page in his book where he's already started writing down, like marking down the um, teleportation circles, and he would have seen the one that um, the arcanist in Arrow Keep did the one time that will become, eventually become permanent. So he's also got that there with like and a little note saying like it will eventually become permanent type of thing on there. This is permanent Burton, on this date. <laughs> we're in Kern. What was the third place? Was it Osha here? No, the current is in the country of Zarsan, so like oh, We we have three yeah. teleportation portals, right? Um, that we just two for now, two potentially three in the future. Did we have a conversation about this AJ of the? Because you do get some when you get teleportation circle. I thought we had a conversation That's about this. Me and you had a conversation about it because no, I got me and that. AJ spell had a conversation about the spell. I don't. Me. Oh, okay. I don't actually recall us ever discussing that because uh, it's something that I don't use much. I'll okay. have a look in the DMs, but... 
Well, it's mm-hmm. a kind of stuff that we can decide later, right? Yeah, uh, yeah nothing. Uh, nothing in chat about teleportation circle that we have discussed. Maybe I have anticipated DMs. you talking to me this about this. What do you... Uh, just a second. Double check the spell. Um... Uh, I can... Because if so, then we could put a portal at my house and Sathasa as well. Yeah, when I first oh, gained the ability to, to cast, cast this spell. spell. Yeah. Oh. So yeah, you get secrets for moment. two destinations. Yeah. Um, yeah. What would make sense that would have a destination in that Merc would have seen, Des? Burton I and I, I was assuming... No, I, we did talk about this. I said the other one would have been Rindleton based on the people you talked about. Because you're like, oh, let's all just teleport to Rindleton now. We'll go to Lavoke and derail the game. That's right. We did. <laughs> we did discuss that. We did yeah. discuss this. Okay. It just wasn't in text. I remember, I remember that name. Um, yeah, cool. So you have Rindleton, mm-hmm. which is very good for getting to Lake Headspire. You have yeah. Burton, and now you have uh, Kurt. We're going to Rindleton. We're going yeah, to Lake like, which, we 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 well. which means we, we can go to Lake That's go fun. I actually don't really want Aura and somebody to be I. <laughs> well, to be to assume she's still alive based on the war that was happening between Favondale and Rindleton. I want to. border settlement. I forgot about that. I want Merc that. to uh, leave flowers at the random grave of the random green tiefling. <laughs> so, wow, how very you random of you. Assess your plan mm-hmm. and assess what's going to come to you in these next few months. With a renewed sense of confidence, we're going to end the session and a level up. Hey, Pog. Nice. What? That's bombs. That's awesome. So that Do you want us to, to, to roll a HP on stream? Yeah, roll HP and we'll call it out. Hey, get yes. back to leveling up. Come on, let's go. <laughs> this, <laughs> I feel like this was just for, for Kate's benefit. Just to g- g- throw him a buff. No, it's just for pacing. Oh, that's <gasps> really good. Mercastle gets an eight, eight on the DM. Chill. Chill. Wow. DM. Uh, you're so cool. Who's next? Uh, so I've got 117 HP now. Oh. That is awesome. I'm going to use my Rainier dice. A level in cleric? Yes. <laughs> no, no Multi class into monk just to be a Ish. fucking genius okay. with zero decks. The flakes on him. I, I, I rolled a decent eight out of nine or out of ten, so that's good. Don't forget your tough feature. Yes, I will. And don't forget forget to it. There's a level on your sheet. Thank you. <laughs> um, Who would like to roll next? Uh. Do is it just like click the roll button in the character mancer? Yep. Reroll a one. Thank God. Six. That's okay. pretty good. That's that's above average. All right. So, and you're taking a level in warlock. Yep. Okay. Ooh. Um. Okay. Anna, are you taking level in sorcerer or? Uh, <laughs> or, <laughs> how physically could I take a level in sorcerer? Answer that question, Magic. Ezreal. Hell, <laughs> hell, hell touched sorcerer? I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> Anna got modded. Oh, fucking <laughs> yeah, that's good. What do you get? Do you Ooh, get something cool? That's, a, that's max HP, that's 10 good. out of 10. Yeah. Let's go. All right. And then Callus India, last but not least. Ooh, that's a 7. 7 out of 8. That, wait, did we have everyone above average this role? <laughs> Except for my natural well, one. yeah. <laughs> this never happened oh, in the history of this our is, campaigns. This is ability, this is uh, this yeah, is nice. ability mm-hmm. improvement. So, um, I will be oh, posting a little infographic when everyone decides and tells me what they're going to do. But we're not going to do that on stream because it'll be a lot of humming and hawing at the screen for about. Yes, I'm just on screen there, just um, yeah, especially because it's, it's so a new invocation. Yeah. A long time to pick spells. Just saying. So mm. don't Dez, rush me. Shill away, shill away, this. So yeah, that's the last one of the stream where I do a little bit of shame and shilling. If you like what you saw, please consider following the channel. Uh, it's a lot, been a lot of heavy roleplay, but tomorrow we're back on, not tomorrow. Oh, I wish it was tomorrow. Next week we're back <sighs> on the road. Can we? Uh, no, I am in work. Um, but if you'd like it more than that, you can you can support us by subscribing to the Twitch channel or our Patreon. Uh, either is a very good way to support us and you get access to our World Handle for five bucks on either one. Or there is other tiers on our Patreon for 10 and $15 a month where you get access to battle maps like the one you saw today where we talk to the spooky ghost house and for 15 bucks a month you can see the behind the screens notes of what little knock-on effects will happen based on who they talked to who they didn't talk to and what could happen next session um other than that we've been we're already a little bit over time so we're gonna go ahead and go go bye-bye say bye-bye everybody bye Bye, everybody